Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. So let's chat a little bit. As I said before, I think we're nearing... I mean, we've definitely passed the halfway point. We might be reaching about three quarters of the way through. There is, like, one big notice of notable boss, I think, between us and the end game. There might be, like, one or two smaller ones in between. But we've made a lot of surprising progress in one session. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause. We just got to... <clears throat> I forget the town's name already. But we went to the town, freed Amanda's brother, who is now playing the harp in order for us to proceed. So let me go ahead and pause the music. And let's jump into the game itself. I don't remember what the scene was called. Give me one second. There we go. I figured it out in the long run. So let me know again, chat, if anything needs adjustments audio-wise. Otherwise, I think we'll proceed. Actually, that reminds me. Hello, Imperameter. I probably should have gotten rid of something that I have currently. Well, I think I'm gonna learn to regret. We can't go back anymore. Hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why do I feel like I just made a big mistake? Well, I will save over in the bottom slot for now. Well, chat, time to find out if I made a terrible mistake that requires me to backtrack. There's one thing I want before we get to the... I think it's a while before I'm at the part where I get really scared of the game and I'm not sure what to expect. There's one very specific thing I don't care about. Okay, so let's, let's get rid of Maddox. We have the Morning Star. We don't need these anymore. I don't think we have enough keys to beat the game. I'm looking at this, and I'm like, this does not look like enough. <laughs> I know I'm holding one. I have an okay amount of healing items, which is fine. Well, now we got more healing items. I'm really concerned about our keys. I would like to go in with at least three sets of four. So we are going to kill things, and hopefully we will get something. Otherwise, we'll proceed. Also, I learned something between the streams. X ether. Okay, that's fine. That would have been more useful earlier. The information, not the item we just picked up. So, from the standpoint of the game, I found out how the HP works. I don't super regret my level ups. I would have changed the order very slightly. But apparently, uh, bonus HP is equal to stamina divided by four. So, we'd be getting one a level every time I take power, which is fine. Uh, but I would have probably preferred when we took that one stamina level up. I would have preferred to probably just take three stamina in a row. That way I could have had a slightly more HP. That's my only regret in the playthrough so far. Everything else is just kind of whatever. <laughs> we got Moogled. Oh, fun fact, by the way. Apparently when you get Moogled in this game, you can't use items. So there's an item that cures Moogle, but it doesn't work. Oops. <laughs> Just, just call that with a big oops there. Also, it apparently makes your defense zero. Which is why I died the other day. So I'm gonna respect it and hopefully get something better. So me taking that, like, 70 damage the last time we played was because I got Moogled, specifically. Um, you know what? We're getting a lot of generic cures. I don't really need that many. I would like to have a little over 100 health by the time we get to the, the final boss. We still have some time, don't get me wrong. But yeah, we're la we're slacking a little bit on the HP department. Our power is fantastic, though. So I think the next three level ups, what we're going to do is we're going to... Hey, you weren't all here a moment ago. I saw that. Just to make sure we have like a decent amount of HP, what I'm going to do... 
is make sure that we get three more levels of stamina just to get that extra HP a little sooner. And we should be good. Anyway, we're back under the castle that we started at. Apparently it's haunted. Hmm. Our willpower gauge, though, at the bottom is filling up very fast. So this is very promising. I'm going to be abusing that to basically beat the game. I already know what weapon I'm going to be forced to use, so... I am really surprised I dodged any of that, to be honest with you. Uh, so I don't really need money. Let me just get rid of Ruby. You know, you just had to attack where I need to go. That's so rude. Exether, that's fun. I don't think I could block that because of the way the vines work. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, speaking of which, how close was I to leveling before we go any further? Uh, pretty close. Hmm. Uh, let's just let's do a little peekaboo action. Let me get this idiot to aim at me. Uh, punish him hard. Oh, that would have been a nice item. Let's level up on these enemies. It's not the best area to level in, but I just figure because there's an easy reset. As long as I don't kill all of them, it shouldn't be too bad. Really just depends. On oh, hello. I was gonna say just depends on who starts on the vine or not. We don't need that much more to level, and I don't really have a reason to not do this. If we're already presumably getting really close to a boss fight. Oh, come on, we're so close. I'm not gonna check the XP. We have to be within, like, three kills or less, yeah. Alright, so let's round out our HP a little more. So I'm gonna go get stamina now. So our power rating looking really good. Max health 127, pretty good. That's, you know, I could beat the boss with that. We just got like a tiny bit more power. I think our damage is fine. So now it's just about survivability. And to no one's surprise, I'm immediately fighting a boss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. where was your hitbox good, sir? Where was your hitbox? Excuse me. Huh, that kind of hit me super disjointed, and that's unfortunate. Oh, and you can just accidentally leave the arena. Oh, it's one of these boss fights. That is really annoying that that's a thing. I paused to go get my item. I did not pause fast enough. That's okay. We saved right before then. Oh, is that... Oh, is that... Oh, that was before I did the level up. It's oh, annoying. Alright, let me go find somewhere else to level real quick. We need, like, so little to level. It's interesting the enemies don't spawn the first screen you transition into. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Uh, I'd like to pick up that item, but I'm getting punished. Come on. Jerk. Yeah, Exether is okay. It's cut. It's... It can end up curing more than regular cure, I'll put it that way. I don't think it's better than X-Cure at the moment. Game, I'm begging you, please. Make them path towards me slightly. It'll save me so much time. You're really gonna do this? You're really not gonna path towards me? Jerk. What a jerk. Uh, did that magician glitch out? What happened there?
Huh, he took more than one semi-charged attack to kill. It's unfortunate. Is he blocking me? What's happening here? How is, I was like, how is he still alive? <laughs> I think it just blew my mind just then. So anyway, more stamina equals more defense. So I would like to live a little longer, if nothing else. So I think our damage is okay. We just need to up our defense just a tiny bit, get a little extra health before the end of the game. And this time I'm going to save here. So what I'm going to do, since regular heal kind of sucks, let's take an X cure here. I think that was my mistake last time. And then we should be able to very easily beat this boss. Just me walking out of the boss arena did not help, because we were not that far from killing it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that time I got like four hits on the boss. <sighs> that attack is so annoying. So that's way stronger than a normal cure, but I'm not sure it's really super worth it. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. We defeated the Chimera. I'm just gonna eat another x -Ether. Yeah, the downside is x -Ether requires me to menu more than once. Oops. I could get more uh, magic power if I just want to get more healing. That would be its only purpose to be at the moment. Right now, Aether versus x Aether doesn't matter because I'm not focused on magic at all. Welcome, Chris. Oh, hello. Donna! They took the pendant! We have to get it back! Let's go! Darklord's room is on the top floor! Oh. Uh, why don't you heal me? So, there is another- there's a couple partners we haven't seen yet in the game, so that's how I know we're not near the end. One allows me to do some kind of fast travel stuff. The other allows me to recover a lot of MP. So I essentially have infinite health through infinite MP. Other x is fine. Just heal me. Hopefully you are doing well, Chris. I got trolled a little bit with my menuing, but I think otherwise the playthrough is doing okay. Speaking of which, I do want to check to see how much I need to level. Mm, I do want to keep killing as I go. I definitely do not want to skip kills here. But I'm not going to like grind over and over. I'm looking for maybe one more item total. Okay, that'll, that'll do it for me. Oh, maybe he is shielding me. Wondering why sometimes he live longer. Oh, there's a shop here. I did not know there was a shop here, to be honest with you. Can I buy keys from you? Oh, thank you. Okay, not punished. I'm not punished yet. I didn't get punished. Let's get rid of uh, key one. You know what? Honestly, at this point, I'll just take the. I'll just take the. Petrification. I want another key. Listen, chat. I have run out of keys in not this dungeon, but the, like, two dungeons from now. And I basically... I got the equivalency of a soft lock. It was down to, I think, pure RNG, whether or not I could advance. Which is, uh, awful. So let's not get in that situation. Uh... A lot of X-Cures... I could sell a crystal. I would like to use a crystal in the upcoming boss battle to free up another healing item slot, I think. I'm going to save one crystal for the final boss. Maybe two. I don't think I need three. Three's a little excessive. So we're going to save one more time after I did that shopping. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? We're hilariously close to leveling. Let me just level. I didn't realize how much XP they were getting for kill. That's fine. We're we're within five. We we, we can we could do five more kills while also progressing. Yeah. And I'm gonna take stamina again because I think our power is fine. I just need to be ultra tanky. <laughs> that's really, that's pretty much it. I am literally just tanking up for the final boss right now. And the more defense I have, the more mistakes I'm allowed to make. There we go. Wow, that is so rude. Do you like those spikes that you can't avoid? 10 out of 10. The best part is I have to just swing it like this, and it's like using a Madoc, so I don't need to... Oh, speaking of which, hope you got some keys! <laughs> and so it begins. The great key venture is here. I forgot you were immune to physical for some reason. I should know better. We fought you earlier. Hello, pumpkin. Oh, look at that. Uh, I can't block their fire still. At least I can't while moving. Unfortunate. So yeah, so now I just have a weapon that just permanently opens walls. I'm pretty much going to be using this until we get a very specific weapon. Or, you know, that happens. Uh, what was the other way out of curiosity? Stupid pumpkin head. Can I not hurt them with this? I thought I was able to kill them with a different weapon type earlier. I mean, I don't really care. I just wanted to see what was in this room. Yeah, you like how the wall sealed itself, by the way? Isn't that such BS? It, if it was like a one and done, I don't think I would have complaints about the dungeons in this game. But the fact that like I literally went one room and it resealed itself is just completely BS. Yeah, that see, that's how it's really easy to run out of keys, because that's going to happen but with keys. Just whip them real good. I do like the whip, but sadly, it's just really far behind in damage at this point. And being able to 360 swing means I can potentially multi-hit with the uh, Morning Star comparatively, so not only is it 20 more damage, although that's just rude. You really put the, you really put the exit over there. That's just rude. Hold on, I might as well as wait. I don't think it's worth going the other way. Yeah, Morningstar is one of my favorite ones because it, it literally eliminates the need to do certain things. Oh, look how much HP she's regenning now. Remember in the beginning of the game, she's healing like two or three a tick. Yeah, eight a tick is ridiculous. So yeah, I'm feel I'm feeling pretty good about the end game. I have my keys. That that's where my fear was. Fear of keys. Lack of keys. So now I think I could save over the other file, because I don't really care. Um... I am going to get rid of one of our many x ethers because I don't need them right now. I think I would rather have the x cure I was going to say, am I not hitting him dead on or something? Sorry for saving again. I'm just going to save over top slot. We're also really close to leveling again. Since we're getting like at least 200, it feels like about 200-ish XP. I might level before we see the boss again, as long as we don't get rooms like this where I can't kill anything. I'm not bothering wasting my 6 MP for that chat, it's not worth. Uh, I really wish our shield would block these shots, I'm not gonna lie. It would have been really nice. They fortunately don't do too much damage because I'm leveling stamina. So we're basically just out-tanking them at this point. 
Okay, there's a staircase downwards. I don't get how that gets us closer to the top of the tower. It feels kind of bossy. Well, I might as well check. I need to level. Interestingly, destroying the chest does not seem to do anything with the staircase. Oh, but that one does for some reason. Why is that? Oh, maybe she was weighing down the other switch. Got it, got it. That makes more sense. <sighs> I blocked myself with an item. That's kind of annoying. Um, Goodbye, X Ether. I get it. I'm getting. Tro I'm actually getting trolled. Game, please. Yes, I know it's a cure. I don't want it. It's pretty bad. Yeah, we're very, very close to leveling. What was the point of this room? I was gonna say, there better be a secret passageway. I'm like, did you seriously make a plant that went obviously the wrong way and it didn't lead me to items? Which is rude. Alright, so let's get stamina again. I love that I'm at 60 power. By the way, the cap is uh, 99 for those that are curious. So we are... <laughs> We're 18 levels-ish from hitting the cap, by the way. It's fun fact. So if we do somehow hit that cap, I will go and level, uh, Wisdom. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. We got all that extra tankiness. So all that just led to another staircase, interesting. Hopefully I did not dodge an item by not going the other way. I'll feel very sad if I missed an item. I don't really, like, need it, need it, because all the endgame equipment is... Oh, hello. All the endgame equipment is uh, available in the final dungeon itself, so I know that if I really want something, it's all there. So I don't really, really need it. And the weapon I'm going to be using for the final boss we get automatically, so I don't need to worry about that. And I don't think anything's really going to replace the Morning Star at this point for my normal dungeoneering, just because A, it opens walls, B, it's a 360 attack, C, it has reach. So I could kill things around corners like this. Oh no, I got Moogle. That's not good. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I got a Moogle. Okay, it looks like I'm fairly far from leveling, so I'm not in a, I'm not in a rush to level again. Okay, do I need to freeze these, or is it just hit them in a certain order? Let's find out together. Okay, the fact that I feel like it's checking me per thing means I probably need to freeze one of them. <clears throat> the question is... You know what? Let's just freeze two targets and come back in. Let's not take any risks. Oh. I should not have killed him. That was a mistake. We'll back up a couple of rooms to force a respawn there. <laughs> Here's a good way to force them to reset. We're literally gonna leave. Now we're gonna come back. Yeah, the downside is if you're playing the game legitimately, sometimes you do need MP, which is kind of annoying. I really hope this is far enough to respawn them or I'm gonna be so sad. Okay, there we go. I mean, they have to respawn. It's just the question of more like how many rooms do I have to go? Seriously? You're such a jerk. Beca oh, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die here. Uh, that's not good. Please don't stone Moogle me. That is, the, that is the most horrific combination I've ever seen. 
Holy, I almost got one shot. I'm dead serious, that would have killed me. If he touched me twice, I would have died. I didn't realize he could Google. I would have approached that slightly differently. Okay, we got rid of a bad cure item. I still have, like... Well, I actually don't have a lot of X cures left. Hmm. I have a lot of X ethers, which is fun. So we need to start picking up better healing items. Let's let's hope that these guys drop me a couple heal items. Or another X ether. So I might farm these guys a little bit. I really wish my shield block magic attacks, chat. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. This is happening because I can't block them. Uh, that's one of the healing items I wanted. Do you have X ether? No, that's fine. We're good for a boss because the girl heals us, but I just want to make sure, you know, we cycle out the bad healing items so we can hold better ones. Ideally, I'm going to get another X cure here. There's one more powerful healing item left in the game. I don't know if I'm going to farm it. I'm going to get at least one, maybe two. It's a full HP, full MP restore. Our MP is pitiful, so that doesn't matter as much. Yeah, I would say if you find, uh... At this point in the game, arguably, I could go willpower. I think when I played originally... Come on. Seriously, they're at an angle I can't deal with. And they were shooting the doorway. I went. I, well, I did not hesitate to leave this doorway. So sad. But anyway, arguably, you could uh, get willpower just to make the puzzles a little less tedious. But that'll be our less stamina for now. So we have a hilarious amount of HP. I really don't need this much for the final boss. I'm still basically one-shotting everything. Yeah, Stone is just... Stone is really inconveniencing. Moogle is the scary one. Like, nor in other games, petrification is like, oh my gosh, like, my party's over. In this one, it's like, you've annoyed me slightly. <laughs> just like, I'm so tanky that it doesn't matter. So yeah, we... Oh, here we go. Dark Lord says, Looks like you've been a bit stronger. You've been? I don't think that's... But not enough to fight me, boy. Stay outside. It will be too dangerous here. What? She heals me. Get out of here. Bluey, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, be careful. Good boy, Blue. Now come. Chat, do you want to take bets how long it's going to be before she gets kidnapped? It'd be like, darn, if only she was with us in the battle arena. Oh, look at him. He's trying. Yo, listen, I'm going to fight you diagonally. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. That's what you're going to do. Him. Oh, I pulled him towards me. That's scary. I don't want that. Five minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds. That's fair. Yeah, I definitely got a solid hit on him there. Chat, can we... Is it sad that random Chimera was harder than Dark Lord? <laughs> can we talk about this? Like, that was just, like, two minutes of straight bullying. Receive Pendant. It's fake. Then where is the real pendant? Well, chat, let's find out. Start your timer. Donna? Donna! Where could she be? Julius? Chat, if you guess 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's literally already kidnapped. Our, 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 our guardian of mana is in a different castle. Where is he? Must be at the waterfalls. Oh, there she is. Donna! No, why are we watching? The, oh, oh, we caught up to her. Donna? Amazing, dot, 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 exactly. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling super good for the end of the game, chat. I'm feeling super good. Donna, what's wrong? 
It's too late, Blue. She's mine. What? Use this pendant and cast the spell, Donna. Donna, don't! Come over here! Donna dot dot dots us. Dot 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 dots us. Donna? What did you do to her, Julius? I am the last one left of the Empire Vandal. Wow, we killed a lot of people, chat. I shall receive the power of mana again. Now, Donna, reverse the waterfalls. Clinka Emra Miran Tinkwa. Oh no. From water falls to water risers. Wait! Huh. <laughs> we just got owned. <laughs> he just, he hot us and blew us away in one shot. Dad, he's so much better than us. It's not fair. Uh, oh, ouch. Can't move. Huh? There we go, chat. Block, block, chat. Yeah, remember the reference of the Chocobo in the other town? See that, Auntie? A boy's falling. Oh, yes, says Sarah. A birdie is, f is falling, too. Oh, dear. Oh, is this, re is, this re is this related to Blue Donna? She's oh dearing us. Oh, no. Oh, no, the Japanese translation continues. I know, exactly. Why? Why is there a relative of Blue Donna here? Blue. Bogart, how you've been? <laughs> how have you been? Uh, well, first of all, he's in bed next to you. He's probably not doing well. I was thrown from the ship. But Sarah picked me up. And saved me. I'm gonna be honest with you, Bogard. I legit thought you were dead when we left you on the airship. <laughs> I did not remember you. I'm glad to see you again, Blue. Surviving is what my sentence was gonna be. Can't do this anymore. I can't do it. I'm not the right one to be the Gemma Knight. Come on. You must stand. No. What's... What's that Gemma? Why me? What's that Gemma? What? Translation, please. Why does that have to be me? Blue, you. You do it. You're the Gemma Knight. It's you. Shut up. Get out. He's very mad we told him to do his job. To be honest, I think our character is a point. For a Gemma Knight that's supposed to protect things, uh, he's been hard slacking. Uh, actually, I might use Blizzard later. I could use that next time we're at a puzzle, I guess. I doubt anything of interest is here, but we'll take a look. <sighs> I stand corrected. I was gonna say, I didn't think there would be a weapon I'd be interested in, but, hmm. Flame whip, I'm kind of all about that. So I'm gonna regret selling my ruby, or junking my ruby earlier. Uh, might be able to have enough to go here. I mostly just want to make sure, one, that we get as much defense as we can. Two, we really need to get a uh, shield upgrade so I can block those annoying spells. Ooh, eight extra damage over the Morning Star. That's good if I'm not in a dungeon. Oh, actually, I had the right idea. I just gotta scroll faster. Oh, we're so close to affording the shield, chat. We're, we're gonna grind for that shield. I don't care if we get better in, like, a little bit. He didn't want to let you know, but he can't move for a while for his broken back. 
he was distressed to hear of places being attacked. But he kept saying that there's a boy. A boy named Blue will come to save us all. I didn't really believe him, but when I saw you, even a chocobo knew you're the last hope. Bogard and the bird made me believe in you. Wow, you're... You really set the bar real low, lady. We all believe that you'll save our world now. Chocobo is being treated at Dr. Bow Wow's house. That is a name. Yo, is she just like dramatically backing away? Why'd she walk like that? <laughs> what was that? There's no way to go on water, but you know, Dr. Bow Wow may be able to make something. He lives in a house over there. There is no way to go on water, but you know. Oh, wait, it's the same person? I got baited? Why did they both say the same thing, or did I just get unlucky? This is Ish. The evil Vandal used to prosper around this area. The Gemmanite with some sword defeated the evil. Oh, well, we'll find out what some sword means later. The ruins of Vandal lies under the desert. Thanks. Chat loves the name Bow Wow. <laughs> they don't... It's true, they don't know about bathtubs. Ooh, listen to that sound effect when I try to enter the house. Huh? Bow Wow says, Phew, all done. I mechanized his wounded legs. He's fine now. So, ch chat, we now have Mecha Chocobo. He can even go on water. I named him Chocobot. How's that? I like Mecha Choco better. Oh, you. We all rely on you, kid. Go talk to Bogard before you leave this town. Anyway, we just have Mecha Chocobo. The, oh, the kid with the bait. Did you see him go downwards and immediately go up as I tried to get by him? Yeah, he's getting whipped for this. Oh, you know what? Our weapon's strong enough, I might actually be able to kill the townspeople. We're getting to the point where I might be able to straight up kill them. They have like a million HP, but I know you could kill them. <laughs> so I'm gonna just use the flame whip which the shopkeeper gave me. Punish the small boy for wasting our time. I don't think they're worth XP. I know at one point I got really bored to see if you can kill them when I played this game growing up, and I know they could die. They just have like a million HP. So I'm gonna whip them a little longer before I give up. Like, we need to just literally wail on them for, like, two minutes solid. It's easier with a weapon we're gonna get in a little bit. But you know what? We'll still whip them around for now and enjoy... <laughs> enjoy abusing the populace. I'm gonna take out my frustration on them real quick. Don't mind me, chat. Well, look at them go. <laughs> like, whipping young boys what a Gemma Knight would do. Well, we're not the Gemma Knight. Joke's on them. They can call us that. I'm like, I don't remember accepting that title. <laughs> there we go, chat. Now we're just straight bullying them in the corner. <laughs> there we go. That's how we can rack the damage, chat. That's how it's done. I think it's easier to do in the starting town. I think they, I think they might scale the HP based off of the town. Because I feel like they should have died by... Or the little boy should have died by now. Oh, well, we'll have to go back to the starting town at some point. <clears throat> Fine, we'll talk to Bogard. I knew you would do it. Now listen, <laughs> we didn't really have a choice. It'll be perilous from now on. Julius has got the power of mana already. Only match is the knight with the legendary sword. Legend? The Excalibur? Yes. And it is how we defeated the evil power of Vandal. You see, kid, we're gonna need you to fight Dwarfon until you drop it. You... Where is that sword now? Chat, we're gonna tell him somewhere in episode 4. Somewhere in this world. Go to Wendell and ask Siva. He knows better. Ask Dr. Bow Wow how to get there. He'll help you. <laughs> um, I guess. I actually don't remember how to go to where we need to go. But yeah, we're pretty much done with the game at this point. We, As soon as we're at the waterfalls, the waterfalls is one of the final dungeons. But we have to climb a tower, if I remember correctly. The east on the sea from the pier at the north. We go north to Wendell. South is to the Ammonites? 
Hi, uh, chat. Help me remember this for later. So we have to go east at the northern point and then go north. Okay. But essentially, there's like a big tower to get to the waterfall from what I remember, and that will be the end of the game. When we get to the tower, that's pretty much the point of no return. So if I don't have keys by then, I'm so screwed. Yeah, there we go. There's the Great Dime Tower. Julia summon evil monsters. Is it safe here? Absolutely not. I'm here. I'm the real monster. Take your chocobo with you? Yes. So anyway, we now have an S command. Figured I'd let this play for a little bit, just for chat. Anyway, if we need to fast travel anywhere in the game, we can. We can also use it to cheat status ailments. Why can I not hit any of these enemies? Please tell me they're not strong against flame. If they are, I'm gonna be so sad. Seriously, we got the flame weapon and it doesn't work on them? Come on. Game, please. That's just rude. At least we could kill this guy. So I'm gonna keep fighting until we have enough gold to get the shield. I really want the shield more than anything else. S Seriously weird egg face things. Get out of my way. Okay. Oh, you're just a shopkeeper out here? Interesting. Alright, if I sell my shield- or, Yeah, if I sell my current shield, we have enough money. So I don't really have a purpose for townskeepers anymore, unless we find another shop. I don't think there is another weapon shop, but I could be wrong. I only remember this place. Not saying it's impossible, but it's fine there is. We'll explore our surroundings a little bit. Hello, giant fireball. At least our current shield can block the stink lines or whatever the heck they're supposed to be. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I have four, four sets of keys. Oh, I could get rid of the key that's just two. We can replace that with something better. Found flame. Uh, I don't think that's that's useful, so let's use it on one of the enemies here at some point. Okay, so we got enough for the shield. I'm just getting a sense of what's around us while killing things. So we know if we go to the northernmost spot and then go east, we're gonna end up where we need to go eventually. If we just walk along the shore, is there anything else to find? Doesn't feel like it. I can't get that chest, that's so sad. As expected, a beauty flame. Does it do anything? We can ride a Calvisham, I just don't want to do it right now. I'm gonna get like one more kill. I feel like we can't be that far off from leveling. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, like one solid room will do it. So we're gonna, we're gonna get that lovely level up into a power. And then any gold we have left over, I think is just if we need more keys. It's basically this game is fast travel and we need him to ride on the water. Oh, I thought that was gonna kill it, or I thought that was gonna level us. Unfortunate that that did not level us. We're so close, chat. Like, we just, just like, one more kill? Yeah. <clears throat> it's very easy to hit the back button on this controller. So, anyway, more power. So, our HP total is fairly good. Uh, our damage is looking kind of nice. That's gonna help the Morning Star stay relevant. Oh, we're sh we shout wait at me whenever we enter a town. No, no, I, I don't care about- no, I don't care about Dime Tower. Stop it! 
Listen, this is why you get morning starred. When I go right and then you walk left, yeah, get out of my face. Get morning starred, idiot. Uh, back to our favorite whipping boy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the shield. Sadly, there's no helmet here. I would have preferred that, to be honest. Over flame lip. Flame lip ended up being disappointing. I will sell the other thing, because shields only get better. There's no reason for me to go back to this one, to my knowledge. So we have 3,000 gold specifically to buy 15 gold piece keys. I think we'll be fine. <clears throat> We're also slightly tankier, because I got early stamina. I was gonna say, I'm sure... Oh, I hate that we have to talk to the Chocobo every time again, though. That is kind of annoying. Alright, Convention wanted to see what it does. And also, look at this chat, you're straight up immune to damage. Chocobo does not care about this game at all. Overwhelming Choco power, chat. There we go, he's treading water on his robo leg. Uh oh, chat. Remember this area? Remember this area, chat? Look at that, we caught up to where I glitched the game earlier. I think Chiva was over here, right? I mean, they're just gonna tell us to go to the Amem Knights or whatever they just called that place. And then that'll give us what we need, I think, to raise the tower. <coughs> Anyway, apparently everybody made it, unfortunately. Let's talk to the old sage that was here. Or not, he's not here. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this was Wendell, right? Are you gonna tell me where he is? Lorem was attacked by many monsters. Siba went there. Lorem is south of the snowfield over the southern sea. You guys are such jerks. What a waste of time. Yeah, yeah. Mana supporting nature. Whatever. So anyway, we had to go to the place that I knew we had to go to anyway. Which <laughs> The plot reason is he went there because the village is under attack. There we go. I now have a plot reason to go there. Besides the obvious fact that we did not go to the location yet. So sadly, Chad, if you do the any percent version of this game, I'm pretty sure it means you never end up with the chocobo. Because you skip literally the whole game. Actually, I don't think we were here either. Hmm. Uh... Where is the entrance to this place? What is going- where- what? How far- okay. How far do I need to go before I can go in? Oh my. Game please. Feeling spring? Alright, let's go on foot. I guess since we're going to the Snowlands, the Flame Whip will eventually be worth it. But we're not quite one-shotting, we need more power. Why is the beginning of the Chocobo theme so scary? Not sure. We got Thunder though. Welcome Dango, hopefully you're doing well. The, the Seahorses don't mess around, chat. Did, did it seriously hit me and it caused me to miss the thunder spell? Wow. That was kind of BS. You can see why I don't use magic. The delay means that if you do it at anything other than point blank, they just get out of there. Whoa, that did 40 damage to me. That's a bit more than I was expecting for sure. Oh, you know what? I'm at max. Uh... 
MP already. Let's take one of these x ethers out of the way. We need to free up our inventory anyway. You're doing okay? That's good to hear. Well, I think our shield can block those now. We really need to respect the mantises and the annoying hand things. When that pulls towards me, I get scared every time. I, I just don't want anything near me. Not in this game. Oh no, we can't block that still. I, I was just verifying. So the flame shield does not block flame shots still for some reason. That's unfortunate. But we should have everything we need to at least get to the halfway house. Are you gonna have the helmet that I'm looking for? Oh, you have different armor altogether? What was the point of this then? You baited me, game. Well, that would have been nice to have. Oh well. I was thinking there was plot here, that's why I went this way, but apparently not. We'll go get that later, I guess. I could have just saved money if I'd realized that was there. That was unfortunate. Okay, so I don't think there's more towns, but apparently there's a hidden shop. It would also explain why these things hit a lot, to be fair. I mean, I don't think it'll take, like, that much more to level, to be honest. And get one of those items. giving me the thunder spell. Medical Potion says you love the mana series. Well, there's good news for you. Once we're done with this, we're going to continue with the mana games. I love our zero damage the thunder spell does. I love it. 10 out of 10. Thank you for the follow. Hopefully you're doing well. So I could just walk out of here, but I kind of want the XP. Game, please. How are you in the land? Get out get out of here, land sea dragon. <laughs> Did you see that? What a cheater. What an absolute cheater. Okay. I'm almost at the point that I want to leave. I just want to go touch the, the healing spring real quick before we go. Might as well just kill what's over here. Or never mind, I don't even need to touch it. Just level up. Well, time for the continuation of basically oops all power. Well, anyway, time to ask our friend. Oh, the beginning of the game. Interesting. Interesting how that all ties together, actually. So let's explore a little bit more, and then we'll go to the snow field, because we know that's where we have to go plot-wise. Oh, that leads to the desert area. That makes sense. <laughs> but all the floating crystals, chat. There's a lot of floating crystals. Love the turtles. Oh, you can't climb onto bridges. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, let's go find the snowfield again. Like the mysterious locked area over there. I just need a good landmark. So I could go here. But we know that if we keep going east... There we go, I'm looking for the snowfield. Oops, all dragons. Killer snowmen are here, chat. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Curiosity, what's over this way? Oh, it leads to a town? What town is this? Oh, this might be the town that, that, that they were going to protect, allegedly. Uh, what ask are they going to make me do? Oh. Frozen. Oh, 
course. <laughs> no! I think it keys later. Uh, that was not worth it. Well, Chan, I know what I gotta do before the end of the game. More keys. We found a frozen castle thing, which I honestly don't remember. So this will be interesting. Well, that was a pointless room. I like that this looks like an arrow, like it's almost pointing to a secret place, but no. So presumably we will find Siba, maybe, and then we'll have to find something to unfreeze him. Is that what the plot's gonna be? King says Julius has summoned monsters in this world. One called Carrie in the Stowfield has frozen us. Siba came, but he's stuck in the other room. It is dangerous to keep them all frozen for long. Okay, there we go. Now we have our plot reason why we gotta go to the snowfield. I swear, if you take a key from me, I'm gonna be so mad with you. It's frozen. Good. It's very rude that a basic town it takes a key from you. Very rude. Bring our Choco Buddy with us. Game, I just wanted to talk to Choco Buddy. Anyway, time to go on a killing spree. Now we get a sellable? Yeah, now it's not useful. Anyway, time to just absolutely kill everything near us, because we don't respect anything. Those things can still Moogle us, so I have to care somewhat. Well, we already know we can block boulders, so I'm not really scared of ogres. Okay, good thing we did not get rid of an axe. That would have been really awkward. I get to roll my eye at the axe hit hitbox real quick before we just go back to never using it again. Uh, let's use Flame Whip a little bit, actually. Oh, it's too cold for Choco Buddy to go with us? That's so sad. Well, time to murder Snowman. You know what, that, wall, that walrus suspiciously feels like uh, the mini walrus boss from Kirby. Just saying, chat, very suspicious. He's like a little outfit, too. Oh, don't you shoot ice at me. So just make sure we're getting a little more gold in case I need that armor later. Don't super need to level again before the end of the game. I think we're more than strong enough to beat. Oh, we're more than strong enough to beat the game. As long as I abuse my willpower at the bottom, we should be fine for beating the game. Uh. Do I care? No, I don't think I care. Yeah, I forget the name of the Kirby boss. The sad thing is I played a game that named him several times, but his name did not stick with me. I don't know if he's called like Mr. Freeze or something weird. Oop. So there's a cave entrance. That looks like plot. We're just gonna keep murdering things for a little bit. So if we do need the other armor, we needed like 1600 gold. So we're not that far from it. Mr. Frosty, it was close. What? Just, I love it was completely defenseless and I whipped it anyway. Yeah, my, my urge to kill was intense. What do you know? Undeniable urge. So now we have more damage. Our health total almost at 200 by the end of the game. It's kind of silly. Kill the eyeball. <laughs> what was all that for? Oh, you made me stuck. Okay, so I need you to presumably stand on that. 
just thought it was goofy how it just kind of launched at me. You know what? We'll take that. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll say 100% as it intended. <laughs> Did you like me whipping it onto the square? Save some time. Well, I stand on the right spot to push it when you can just whip it. That eyeball is actually very annoying. It's very slow and immune to our physical attacks. Really don't want to use Blizzard on you, but I will if I think you're getting annoying. You know, Chad, I feel a little cheated there. I felt like I actually reacted to the whipping post, but it went by it. Oh, there's the Mallard Ducks. I want to say they're called Sergeant or something in the later games. Actually, you know would be better? Get rid of an X Ether. I don't need that many for the end of the game. Yeah, we'll get most of the names of these characters, not all of them, in uh, the next game. Okay, so that just led us there. That's locked. Shake up every time I use the key, I shake my head. Well, you remind me of the thing in Evo. Don't remember what that dinosaur name was. Please just let me go across, thank you. Did I actually navigate the dungeon? Oh, Flame Whip actually works on those. Oh, that is knowledge gained. I was not aware that... I guess because it counts as fire damage? Because it's flame whip? Interesting. Yeah, that's neat. I mean, we know we could set them on fire from earlier in the game, so there's no questions about that. And another X Ether? Well, let's just heal up then. Actually, you know what? At this point, I don't think I care about the ruby, because if we really, really, really need it... We just kill a couple enemies instead. Um... Is he frozen? What was that? I think he was frozen. I re That's unfortunate. I think he got stuck, and I'm okay with that. Really prefer to go this way. I think I'm doing okay. I'm making progress. I'm probably missing a bunch of items, but that's fine. As I said before, the, the only important ones are at the end of the game anyway. Oh, the mage is immune to the fire whip. Of course he would be. Well... Time to tell him he's the star of the show. Did... Oh, does the tornado make you immune to the physical attacks? That's a terrible way to find out. Alright, so let's save to get an idea of where we are XP-wise. Not that far away. So if I really want to elevate the damage of our alternate weapons, which we are using a little bit... I didn't count the tiles. There we go. Then uh, we could get more power, which again gives us HP, which gives us everything else. I swear this better be progress for eating another one of my keys. You have me so nervous, game. I want my keys. So fire ignores your physical immunity. Keep that in mind. Nice leveled up. Almost exactly when I wanted to level. Let's go ahead and level power again. More damage. So again, we're getting one defense every level up. Our damage is going up, so we have to spam less. I have over 200 HP. So I'm feeling pretty good about the end of the game. 
And again, if we somehow get another, I don't know, like 15 levels, we'll, we'll put the rest into Wisdom so I could get more MP for healing, which will still level Stamina and Will, I'm pretty sure. So all those will continue to climb. We should be good. Okay, that doesn't seem useful to me. Let's go this way. I feel like I'm not that slow in reacting. Like, my whip is there. I'm just getting unlucky. I think I'm just getting unlucky. Wait, I just went in a big circle? Seriously? That sucks. Oh, me. Oh, don't even go down that hole. Okay, well, let's go find the real way then. What? Can I seriously not come back from this room? That's annoying. <laughs> Unless I use a key. Next game. I really just- I- that's one thing I really don't like about this game. I wish at least if you use the keys, things stayed unlocked. Do you know what I mean? It just feels really rude. That, like, you go one door away, and then you realize where you are, and the game is like, got you. Is there something else I could have done in one of the other rooms? Hmm. Well, on the plus side, we have enough gold to get the other item if I want it now. So we ended up here. I'm not gonna put it outside the game to make it so that I have to destroy one of these. Let's double check. So we came up here before. How did I end up... How did I end up going from... I'll have to check the map on the other place. I haven't been using the map that often, but because I went in a big circle, I'm gonna double check. I must have just chosen, like, literally the only path that would not have made me progress. It's kind of unfortunate. Game, please. Thank you. Or, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Listen, if I hold up and whip and he wants to whip downwards... Like, you're, you're the boss game. Who am I to disagree? So let's go back up. I think I have to face tank you, because you're in the way. Alright, so there was another door I could go down into. I don't think I could go this way, but maybe I just didn't... Maybe it's the other side I could go in. Okay, the other side would have led me there. Let's go ahead and use some cure magic while we're here. That looked like a place I could break through. Okay, I don't... I don't know what I could have done to prevent that, to be honest with you. That's super rude. That is super rude. Oops. So, hold on a second. <laughs> How do I make progress? Wait a minute. Hold on, chat. I need to think about this. So, I did find another area. I I'm assuming maybe there's some one of these rooms I have to, like, club my way through, I'm assuming. Interesting. So, I'm guessing it's on the upper floor. I'm just trying to decide. Do I think it's the, like, the right, the bottom right, the top right? I mean, presuming we can also get into the gap in the middle. Hmm. Alright, so let's go forward with the assumption that the, maybe it's just the gap in the middle will let us progress. Let's see if... Let, let's try going back there. Which means I did pass what I needed to do already, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. Let's save. 
I need to be dumped somewhere. There we go. Because I saw the double flowers, and that's usually a good indicator that that's where we have to go. Actually, one more save, just in case. Yeah, okay. This is exactly where I want to go, then. Unfortunate. Yep, of course. That's fine. We figured it out eventually. Hmm. Now, if this was the healing spring, I'd be very happy. Please be healing spring? No? Oh well. Very suspicious empty room. Oh, elixir? Oh, hello. Why, hello there. Can I just farm you? Question. Oh, no, no, I gotta come back. Okay, so I think that's where I can get the best healing item in the game repeatedly, but I gotta move X number of rooms in order for it to respawn since it's only a single enemy. So it's a little inconveniencing, but it is also the best healing item in the game by far. Use X Ether, that's fine. Of course that's locked, that would be convenient. I don't think that's enough rooms by itself, sadly. I really don't want to open up more things that require keys if I'm not going to commit going that way. Let's see, was that enough rooms? Let's find out together, chat. No. It's unfortunate. So we want to get at least one more for later. Because that's worth basically like six X cures. And also gives me free healing, which is nice. So we'll come back before we beat the boss. But it looks like the way forward requires a key. So also imagine, Chad, if you're playing as like a young child and you're like, you got lost, you use your keys on the bottom floor looking for things, and then you go to make progress and the game is like, it's like, nah, you needed another key. <laughs> Could you imagine? And just think, Chad, I got four sets of four. We're already down an entire set. Down pillow, that could be useful later. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to see if I can force it to respawn by taking the staircase and coming back. Let's see, chat. Is this good enough to force... If this, if this room respawns, the next room will respawn. Ooh, it didn't. Hmm. That's kind of annoying, then. Let's go on a little journey to try to force it to respawn. And okay, magical journey time, chat. We're going to try to force it to respawn up. This works. That's also fine. Alright, if this is not far enough to force it to respawn, it's fine. I don't want to grind out a million elixirs that'll make the game too easy. I just want one. Oh, Morningstar crushes eyeball. Ooh, good to know. We. Also, can you imagine if we didn't have the Morning Star? I would have, I would have done like what was it, six Madoc uses already. So I think when they remade this game, they did get rid of the you know requirement to use the keys because I, I don't. It's not that I had a problem with the keys. It's more of the concept that like, if they were gonna keep the keys, one, they should have just been like you permanently unlock it once you use it, unless you fully leave the dungeon. I think that would have been fair. And then two, I feel like stacks of four is not enough. If you were allowed a single stack of keys up to like 99, then it would also not matter. Morning start to the face will crush an eyeball, realistic game. Yeah, we got our elixir, which is maybe going to be useful. I could just right before the final boss get a single point in wisdom, maybe just to get a uh, one extra heal for X ether. Oh. There is a passageway up there. Whoops. <laughs> right, chat? Whoops. I didn't know that. Well, thank you, Morningstar, for helping confirm that there's something here. Oh, there's the recovery spring. Oh, I could have used that earlier. Unfortunate. But hey, at least that's free to get to compared to the other VS it wants me to do. I mean, I was going to level regardless. 
Here we go, chat. More power. Our willpower is insane. Our defense is pretty solid. If I hit triple digits by the end of the game, I think that's more than good enough. And again, we're just going to be constantly leveling stamina. Let's say goodbye to one of our keys. Wait, hold on. Wait, I used up an entire key already? I'm on my, my third... Wow, that's crazy. Well, we need to go buy more keys, chat. Moral of the story. So we are definitely not ready for the final dungeon. I'm going to save, because this feels like a boss. Uh, I'll keep Morning Star out for now. Or it's another cave. Okay. Dark status ailment. It's fine. Presuming I need the flame whip given the post, so I'm just going to preemptively equip it. What? Oh, just, I was wondering why I didn't make it to the post. That makes more sense. Okay. A little bit of charge. We could kill them in one hit. But we need more power. I feel kind of bad. Those enemies are kind of useless. <sighs> that feeling when you whip, but you don't whip. Let me get on the switch. Okay. That's Morning Star. This will presumably open the door. Good. I didn't have to freeze any enemies. I was worried about that. Thank you, 360 Morning Star. That's why I equip you when I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay. That mummy instantly sucked into me. That was rude. I'm glad we did not get cursed or whatever. I think these count as trees. So I think I can wear axe through these. Like, could you imagine game? Could you imagine Chad in like the modern era if you could just hit like LR, and, like any other Game Boy? Because obviously, original Game Boy just doesn't have those buttons. I guess they could have maybe put. No, they use start and select. But could you imagine with LR, if you could just rotate through your weapons? Oh, that would have been so good. That would have been the quality of life that I was looking for. Okay, well, let's play Pick a Path. I'll go downwards first. So you're telling me... Something else will lead me here, which is the dead end. That this was all for naught, because I don't see a hidden door. Okay, whatever. I mean, a willpower is already pretty good. It will just steadily go up. I don't see the point in focusing on it at the moment. Did it move me out of the... Like, specifically when I morning starred, it was like the only path it could put me on where I didn't hit the eyeball. Wow. If it just went in a straight line, we would have had it. So sad. Ooh, if that had double hit, that would have killed. I'm going to save again, not because I'm scared. I'm just checking XP. We're not, like, super close to leveling. Maybe post-boss will level. Well, what's the point in going to the left? Are we just going to end up in a place we can't do anything at? Unless there's, like, one more room between us and the other room. You've got to be kidding me. The moment chat where you whip the post, but it still doesn't take you where you need to go. Do I need, like, hyper-extending whip to have that not happen? Try this again. Okay. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like I whipped it, but I didn't go across the ice. So sad. Okay, so there is one door between us and the other place, which is presumably an exit. Are you going to require a key? No. You might have, actually. I had the key equipped. We're going to save. That was not worth it. That was actually not worth it. I think that ate a key from us. Because so I'm not that far from leveling. Not worth chat. Mm -hmm. 
So this is going to be my opportunity to whip. So this time it's mandatory. Fortunately, our weapon damage is pretty good. I just got to make sure that uh, we land the hit here. How did, how did that not reach? <sighs> Game fleas. I know I used the whip on time. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. I guess I gotta do it when I'm closer. It doesn't like me moving closer during the animation. How is that not good enough? Oh, game, you're being way too finicky. He bought me and it changed my direction. So rude. That was so rude. Yeah, this is more annoying than this should be. I know what it wants, it's just like... <laughs> like I, I guess because my whip is going past it, it's not grabbing it. I guess it only literally grabs at the tip. So I gotta do it like crazy early then. No? How did that not count? Huh. Interesting. I mean, I feel like we're basically at the boss. I think I just have to literally grab it and then we're done, but the game is not cooperating with me. I don't think there's another way to do this. I just gotta time it differently. No. It's fine. We'll get there eventually. So what is the timing that it needs me to do? Do I have to go for the second post and not the first post? Nope. Like, we need- we 100% need to grab that. I'm pretty sure there- if I look at this map, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else we could do. Yeah, there's nothing else we could do. Do we have to do this? Let's save. Hopefully you're doing well, Promethean. Game, please. Thank you. That was way more annoying than that should have been. Seriously, that was way more annoying than that should have been. There are so many times my whip definitely went through the whip box that it did not grab it. So it's very picky, apparently. Oh, this feels like boss territory. How much do we need to level, by the way? Enough that I don't feel like grinding. Let's just beat it. Mm, I need like... Actually, I don't even need X Ether for the end of the game, technically. Let me just do this for now and equip Ether here, or cure, I mean. And then we'll... Also, I'm so used to start being where how you get to save in other games. I had to tell myself it's select. I mean, I get, depending on how much XP this is, I could just kill them to level. You know what? I'm just gonna kill them to level. We're we're within like three kills-ish. I think we could do it. I liked it more when there were multiple enemies there. Game please. Are you still seriously giving me single spawns? This is rude. time chat so we have a hilarious amount of hp we're ultra stupid because i haven't bothered leveling magic at all uh i'm gonna save ourselves some time okay i swear if the bottom door is like a key door and then it's just a healing area i'm just gonna rewind the save the point of this room. Who needs brains when you have a morning star? Exactly. I'm like full brain off, it's fine. We'll go full dummy. What was the point of this room? It was seriously just one enemy, no treasures. Okay. Well, as I said before, our damage is really, really good, so we should be able to just wall up any boss that kind of comes towards us at this point. And if we bother charging our will meter, we basically insta-kill things. So arguably, if I don't need defense, and I don't really need more power to beat the game, I could just level willpower just so I do damage faster. 
because uh, the will gauge does influence the damage. We saw already that a partially charged will shot along the bottom there is worth like three uncharged shots right now. Well, let's see what we're gonna fight. Oh, hello. Are you immune to Morningstar? Okay, are, do you take damage from Flame Whip? Yes. Alright, so you're just like the other dragon, except I can block your ice shot, so you're just kind of effed. Like, only if I get greedy there will I take damage, which is fine, I want to greed. I want to speed up this boss fight. Yeah, he's got the same motion as the uh, dragon we fought at the beginning of the game. Defeated carry. Found ice sword. That seems hilariously not useful. <laughs> our our villagers are frozen. <laughs> I just brandished the ice sword. Wouldn't we want a heat sword? Just saying. Whatever. Well. I guess we needed that in question mark. So if I really want to go get the ice armor and the ice shield, I could go do so now. No. Oh, this will kill me actually if I don't heal this. So you can stall how much damage it does by repeatedly going between the screens, but I think I'm going to save you some time by just choosing not to do that. But just be aware there's a way you could kind of scam the poison tick. By just like walking between floors or between screens. So if you're really desperate, you could try to do that to survive. Don't you dare poison me, I swear. We're so close, chat. Yeah, we're basically just one objective away, I think, from beating the game. So the moment we're told to go to Dime Tower, that's when you know we're, we're at the end. So at that point, just strap in. We're going to go beat the game. Game, please. How much do I need to level off of these enemies? A decent amount. I might hold the level up for later, but I'll kill these things on the way through. So that way I have a guaranteed heal when I'm in the next dungeon. Because I think I will absolutely need it. You know what? I didn't end up using the blizzard magic when I thought I would. Maybe I should just get rid of it if I'm not going to use it. Because blizzard magic at this point is not any different than just having X Ether. Except X Ether can turn into something more useful. Uh, key and key and key. <laughs> I'm like, I am not soft walking in this place. We're gonna sell the blizzard and key. Hey, chat. I think I'm moderately prepared for the end of the game. You see this regular key? I'm gonna get rid of that. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 keys. I'm going to hope 20 keys is good enough. I really am, chat. I'm going to buy an X cure for now. So if I get if I get lost and backtrack by accident in the final dungeon, I'm not just screwed. Then any any items we could pick up from then on, we could use. Uh, let's take the chocobo with us. I actually don't want to ride him, I want to kill things on the way there. The fish is immune to fire. Interesting. We just bonked the mole and he exploded. That sounds about right. I don't like axe. I guess I could use the ice sword. Oh, are they immune to ice? Wow, ice sword, please. We could one-shot, like, all these basic enemies. What a convenient level up. Let's go ahead and power up here, for sure. So we have a hilarious amount of health. So I feel pretty good. We are 17 levels away from capping power. I doubt I'm gonna hit 50 something. I might I might hit literally 50 by the end of the game, maybe. Oh. 
they just got freed by okay i was gonna say i'm not sure how they re oh hold on <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm not I'm not entering that door. You you go deal with that locked door. Or you know what we're gonna do? I thought about it. We're gonna save, see what he says, and I'm reloading. Because I'm not wasting a key for a single interaction. That is so stupid. As a reminder, this happened last time we were here. Yeah, I'm I'm preparing to reset. He's probably not gonna give me anything useful. Wow, good morning. Anyway, not worth. So, we're just gonna pretend we just... He lives in his own life. Listen, we're not gonna bother him in his morning. Thank you so much. Siba's waiting in the other room. Like that right there, chat? That's an example of really unnecessary item usage. Okay, the door is now unfrozen. Can't carry. Why are you telling me you can't carry? What are you trying to give me? Um, I don't think I need this many X ethers because elixir is an X ether. I need at least one. We'll have unlimited for the only puzzle dungeon, so I'm not worried about that. I'm keeping my keys. Receive bone. Go up the wide river by the Amnite coast. Go beyond the Amnite coast to float rocks. Use this key at the cave in the float rocks. The guardian monster has the legendary sword. I'll tell you the rest when you return with it. Okay, so what were your directions? I'm sorry. But well, you told me can't carry again. Hold on. How many of these keys? Do you just dispense them every time I talk to you? Okay, let's get some directions. So we said from the Amnite Coast, go where? Float rocks? Uh huh. Okay, so we just need to reach Float Rocks from the Wide River. Okay. And then we'll get the strongest weapon in the game. And then from there, I think we just literally go to beat the game. So here's our final task, chat. And then it's game conquering time. I have more than enough gold if I want to uh, get the ice stuff, which I might. But as I said before, the final dungeon will have all the upgrades, too. So that would just be purely if I feel like it. And honestly, I don't super feel like it. Where does this go? Uh, that makes sense. Let's see, the M Night Coast, I think, was just like a little further to the east. Since we, we technically already went there. So we went there like several levels early, just for chat clarity. We're talking about the area over here. So we have to get to Float Rock. So we just have to see how we get here. Okay, can't go that way. There's the cave. need one of these to go there. Really? It's not gonna let me loop through? Fine, we'll go the other way. <laughs> I was hoping we could just cut through, but no. Okay, we'll go the other way. So we know that should be our destination, I think. But either way, we should be fine. We just need to get to a point where we could see how to get the flow rock. So I think that cave might go there, or I could be confusing it with the other place. We'll have to go to that shop eventually. There's no way that that is correct. How do we get on the other side of Float Rock, then? Is there another... Is it one of those dumb things where I have to go, like, around in order to get to it? It's like, this should not take me to where I want to go, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this puts us in Siva. So do I have to go, like, the long way around to get to where I need to go? Hmm. So I didn't see another way to deal with this. Because we went through the whip passageway before. That's how we get to the other shop. Wait. 
What's... What's the point of this area? Hmm. So all this would lead me to the bonus shop again. But I don't see that how that helps me get to the other area. Remember, we did this earlier. Unless this goes somewhere that I wasn't aware of that would help me, because I need to eventually go to the right. Oh, Float Rocks loops. Oh, that makes more sense now. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, because we couldn't go that way before. There's the key we need to use. So I'm mostly just looking to see what port makes sense at this point. We can't go this way at all. Yeah, that's not gonna help us. So... Where do we go, is the question. So we're basically back at the other place. Yeah, we're back at the other place. Hmm. The true question of Final Fantasy Adventure. Where is the one port I need to go to in this entire area? So there's like a lot of different ways I could walk, but most of them are not helpful. And I look at the map. That is not helpful. Okay, so <laughs> it's like, I'm like, if it marked where the docks were, I could figure it out based off the tile location, but that's not what I want. So I need to end up here. The question is... What port do I think will take me there? We know that's a dead end. I'm not going to bother going that way again. So if this is connected here... How do I reach this? Where on the map is this, for my reference? This is all the way in the upper left. Interesting. So if I can come... Wrap the map around... Ooh, if I go really high up, then I might hit the point I'm looking for. Oh, there's just a hole in the ground. What is that? Wait, no, what is this? Wait, how do I reach this? Oh. <laughs> I don't remember this place at all, chat. Huh. There's just kind of a cave that doesn't lead anywhere, but it's got a hole in the ground. Okay. Interesting. I think we've been to this cave before, so that's why I'm not that worried about it. Where are we on the map? I'm still at the southern side, so I need to loop through. Hmm. Okay, so let me think about this. So... That would tell me, if I look at the map again... If I go, if I somehow end up at the left and go downwards, I'll be where I need to be. Or I would have to go up many, 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 many tiles, which I don't know how much that would help me, to be honest. I could go in the port there. That's not going to help me. Not a useful port. Oh, I've apparently found a dead end. Unfortunate. I mean, I don't think the beach is where I want to go, because I have to go to the Amnite region, which I'm assuming was the place that it was at before, unless that's literally it. Uh... See, I don't remember walking through these trees before, though. Let me double check that this isn't what we need. I'm here, I might as well as Chuck. Do you know what I mean? Oh, they seem like more advanced enemies. Maybe I do have to go this way. If nothing else, we found an optional area. Wow, a sword is ultra lame. Let's never use that again. I did like no damage. Lots of enemies I can't injure. Mm. 
multiple enemies that don't die in one hit. Ooh. Unless this leads to the tower, that'll make me feel kind of sad. But at least we kind of know where the tower is if I have to come back this way. Um, let's use an Excure. X Ether, yeah, basically got the same item back. Well, let's find out, Chad. Is this where I want to be? Uh, um, I don't remember you at all. Hello. <laughs> Hello, optional boss, question mark? You do a lot of damage to me. I don't think I appreciate that. And you way out heal my, my healing. That's not good. Uh, I think I'm in trouble. I was not expecting a boss here, to be honest with you. Oh, and you just loop through the screen over and over. Got it. Okay. You don't have a hard pattern, but unfortunately, I'm already really injured, so I don't know what I could really do to win from the injury standpoint. I think I might have to just take the death. Yeah, because he, he basically goes in like kind of a figure eight and leaves the screen. I was not expecting a boss battle. I don't think I've ever fought this enemy before. Hmm. Is there a way I can whip him safely is the question I'm asking myself. So we just gotta dodge his skull attack, which isn't too bad. <sighs> I was like slightly too slow there. There's... I just need to know how to get by that one attack. It double hit me? Oh, that's unfortunate. See, so yeah, he does an insane amount of damage. I'm assuming I'm not meant to fight him yet, but I'm kind of curious. As I said before, I don't think I've ever fought this character. Also, I realized it had the wrong weapon equipped and that caused me to get hit. That really sucks. Huh. I mean, I might have to come back here. The pattern is not hard, I just don't know how to dodge one portion of his attacks. Which is like, when he goes into the middle, I don't know where the safe spot is. Like here, I want to go here, then he's gonna go in the middle. But like, if he throws a skull there, I don't... Th did you see that hitbox? Chat, did you see that hitbox? Chat, I'm nowhere near him. Hitbox, please. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I got I think we can all say I got robbed super hard on that hitbox I am like an entire character with from him let me make a note okay so I think this is how you get the ultimate magic in the game which to be honest with you I don't think I beat the game with before and I think I could see why. Sorry about the, the computer sounds. Uh, what do I want to do to beat him? He's too big. Yeah, he is way too big for that arena. Um, okay. I'm going to save with the flame whip because that is really irritating to have to keep swapping into that. So the question is, actually, you know what we should do? Let's save. I don't know if it saves your current willpower, but if so, I'd love to keep it there. Like, all we need to do is just not get bought by the skull. Because if we get bought by the skull, it's over. But the problem is, like... Wait, can you attack the skull? Oh, you can attack the skull. Oh, that makes more sense, and I would rather do that. Alright, that now makes more sense. Because I was like, how the heck do you deal with the RNG of where he places those? That double hit me. Oh, that is so irritating. Yeah, so unfortunately, I don't have, like, a mobility skill. So I'm forced to kind of tank it. Prometheus doesn't get hit the skulls. Too late, Prometheus. I already mentioned that. There we go. Alright, so the pattern is about that. The problem is, like, when he comes here, I really gotta stop him from using the skulls. We're gonna take big damage. Of course he got me. Also, what am I equipped with that I'm not healing? Note to self. We came from this side that time. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Okay. Now that we know how to deal with the skulls, that wasn't too bad. Receive the magic book of nuke. Learn nuke. I said it before you said it, did you? Oh, I wasn't looking then. 
He was worth no XP. Essentially. That sucks. Yeah, it was more just figuring out where to stand so that we... Did you seriously attack me on the screen transition? That is so rude. It was more just figuring out where to stand to make sure that I could get through his dumb little figure eight. As we saw, he had dummy thick hitbox. Like, he hit really deceptively low. So instead of going low, I just went high. It still doesn't tell me where to go. I mean, like, I, I found a boss I've never fought before, so there's that. But that doesn't really tell me where I need to go. Actually, will this shortcut me to where I need to go? Because I need to go upwards eventually. Maybe? Where did this put me on the map? Not really. I mean, this put us here. Remember this place. So we could go through there if we need to. Let's go this way. So I need to end up in the upper left, ultimately, is what I'm trying to do. So we're getting ever closer to it. Yeah, so I'm looking for just a port somewhere here. And then we should be good to go. The question is... Is there a better way to get to it from where we were? And we're also looking for any bonus areas, since apparently those exist. So we know where the wide river is. And ignore the werewolves. Oh, this doesn't continue to the left. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I thought that would keep going. That is really unfortunate. That would have brought us to the other side that I was looking for. So there really is no shortcut. I have to take the long way every single time I want to take that river. That really sucks. Oh, well. I tried, but hey, we found death slash the lich. Yeah, we can't go through there. So, hey, bonus boss found. <laughs> Get ready for me to never use that spell because I don't like MP in this game that much. I probably would have used it way more if uh, you gain one MP a level and they'd balance the game around that. I would have used it a lot more. But the fact that it's optional means I'm not going to take it over power. Okay, do I want to stop at any of the other towns is what I'm asking. Hold on, did I glitch? Did they not think about this? Can you stand up on the wall? I mean, at least I'm not softlock there. I'll give them that. I somehow did not softlock. So yay, we didn't softlock. <laughs> but I was definitely in a solid wall. We'll put that under the Final Fantasy Adventure bugs. Just in a wall. Yeah, that's not going to help me. Even if I use the whip there, it's not going to take me where I need to go. That's unfortunate. All right, so let's go all the way back south. And then we just have to figure out which one of the many ports I need to use in order to get back. So we're going to do this to reset our progress. I will say I am really sad the map does not map where the ports are. I would definitely not really get lost in this game ever if the ports were on the map is I would just instinctively know which one to go to based off of my destination. But the problem is, like, I've never memorized where the ports were. So when it tells me to go somewhere to go somewhere else, I'm like, I have no idea where you're talking about. So there's where we just were. I still don't know what to do with that island. I could go back and heal at this place. So we're, we're at the top, but we're not where I need to be simultaneously. I need to be like over a couple more screens. Yeah, because our destination is like right here, chat, just for clarity. But because of the, the weird, for some reason, you can't go from the water to the ground. Or else I would have been, we would have been right there. Like here is where we need to go. The question is... How do we end up here? Because it clearly looks like you're supposed to come from the south, right? But like, if you look at the map, it's confusing because the south means like the extreme, extreme other end. 
Like, we're on the opposite end of the map. Even though our goal is right there, we have to go the opposite end. So I think if I do this long enough, I can end up there. And it's possible this long, long beach might eventually connect to where I need to go. It seems like it could. Do you see, like, how it, like, bends there? So if I do that... Now we're in the bottom. <laughs> we went from the top left of the map to the bottom left to the bottom right. I mean, I'm impressed. I don't know about you, chat. This this I this island is all over the place, literally. So I think that aids in the confusion, <laughs> like as in it helps to confuse me. Yeah, if you're understanding why I'm also a, a little lost, it's because of that. Uh, I could just go pick up the super items. You know what? Let, let's go heal here, because we know what this is. We know what this is. Let's go get the armor and whatever. We'll take the healing, so that way I don't have to worry about it later. So we're going to ask, get healed. Continue. We have more than enough money in order to buy the armor, so I might as well do that since I'm here. And I don't think this led to anywhere interesting, sadly. game, please. Unfortunately, we can ignore all the counter encounters. So yeah, this will lead to the shop that we were at earlier, but this time I have money. If we were really just a little bit short, I could get some kills on the way there. There we go, safety kills. If only we could cross through that little bit of mountain. So sad. So yeah, now we can easily afford these, so I might as well ask. So they seem to have the same stats, but I guess it just changes what you're resistant to. I have nothing better to use my money on, so whatever. Okay, so give me one second chat. Take a brief drink break. Oh, I can't talk today. Drink break. So let's think about this map one more time. So I guess what the game is trying to tell me, but in a way that's like not super clear. So our destination is both in the upper left and the upper right, and it's also in the bottom right and sort of the bottom left. So I think what we have to do is... I guess go further south? Unless this initial pier can lead us... If we could go south at this initial pier, then this will also be what we need to do. So let's just double check that I didn't miss something very simple. And then we'll proceed. So if we could go south from here, this will should also take us to our destination. But as I said before, this map is... It's really awkward that our destination is like in the... It's like almost literally all of the four corners. So it's like really awkward trying to think about where it is relative to anything else. Nice blah. At least I don't think you could destroy the seashells. If you could destroy those, that would also make a difference. I can't say I've tried. Oh, we just clubbed them. I'm assuming you can't, but let's just make sure as well that we can't just do this. Okay. So that's out. Just, I feel a little better. If we could get to the other side of that, would that give me what I need, is the question. I think it would. Can I end up on the other side here? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 okay, then I could use this then. So we'll save. 
switch to Fire Whip. Okay. Now I think we can make progress. Because I have to get it... I have to get to this place in such a weird way. So that's the pier that we took for the weapon shop. But I think we can use this to go to the right destination. I'm gonna kill stuff on the way there, because I just like a free level. Yeah, if you remember, this this one goes on forever. Oh, I can't I didn't block it. Okay, do I destroy these with morning stars? Please tell me they die with morning star. Okay, good. Go away, magic turtle. Oh yeah, this is promising, so now we just gotta explore a little bit to see what else is here. Okay, pointless area. So that's Wendell, I think, to the left of us. If, if I'm keeping track of this wacky world geography, I think that was Wendell. And then this is this this is the bridge we kept seeing that I couldn't do anything with. Are you throwing a trident at me? That's so rude. Um, I would really like to get rid of the bone key to pick that up, but I can't. It's unfortunate. So let's proceed for now. So now this feels right. Now Chat can understand why I'm confused. Let's take a look at where allegedly I am on the map as a reminder. So now we're in the bottom right. <laughs> we were we were on the far left side of the map and the upper left as a reminder when we started. So there's a shop. I did want to visit this eventually. I remembered seeing that before. The Thunder Spear. I guess I'll buy it for the sake of buying it. I don't really intend to use it, but you know, it's there just in case there's a weakness I forgot about that I need to exploit. Okay, so we have some choices here. I'm not sure which way was the right way when we were surfing here before. Well, I gotta go around. That makes sense. It's the weakness of the Lich. Oh well. His weakness was whipping his ass full screen. I don't care what the game says. It's kind of like when bosses have elemental weakness. I'm like, I'm never gonna find out. I'm, I'm not gonna bother. I'm like, listen, they're 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 weak to Morning Star or Whip, and nothing in between. You can't tell me otherwise. All right, so you're another shopkeeper. You just sell me things I don't care about at all. Thank you. All right, so now we can use the Bone Key. Get that horrible item out of her inventory. Listen, we need as much healing as we can get away with. Wait for me! Did we use the bone key? That's all I care about. Bone key gone? No. Well, hold on. I don't know how big this cave is. On the off chance... On the off chance that this leads like two rooms into a boss. Let's... How did the chocobo end up there? Anyway, on the off chance that that happens, let's level out here. I'm really not that far from leveling. I'm maybe like five kills. I'll bully you real quick, don't mind me. Right, we were probably within two kills. One kill. Alright, worth. Hour. More damage chat. There we go. Let's proceed. We'll pretend we level up on the Lich. No, oh, just, ugh. <laughs> You're between me and the coal. It's not fair. Couldn't avoid that conversation unless I really wanted to wait. Okay. So I'm probably not going to level too much more between now and the end of the game. Because we have, like, one Locked. What's... You... Are you telling me the old man gave me bone key and I still need normal keys to proceed? I hate you, old man. <laughs> Give me a better key. I uh, opened up a secret passageway. Game, please. 
Hmm. Morning Star is just so good. Uh, do we need to freeze something for this one? No. Game, please stop. Uh, looks like a bridge, so I'll take the bridge. That was such good blind navigation. <laughs> Don't mind me, triple kill. I get pillow from you. I felt like there's a wall. I felt like that was breakable. You know what, Chan? I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. I didn't bother looking at the room. I'm just like, you know what? They seem to like putting pumpkins in breakable rooms. I'm just gonna smash it. Didn't even. Didn't even look at contour. Didn't look at the map. Oh, hello. Okay. I mean, can I just outpower you? Oh, you do a lot of damage. Hmm. I understand your pattern, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. So you do like a, a little juke. Oh, I thought he was going to juke one more time. I miscounted. Unfortunate. Alright, listen, chat. <laughs> you hit me while dead again? Did you see that, chat? You see that tomfoolery? I'm glad I healed, by the way. Yeah, thanks, game. I saw that. Don't think I didn't see that. Cheap little boss. <laughs> hit me for 70 while already dead. Well, that explains how to get here. That makes sense now. What a what a cheater, chat. What an absolute cheater. Actually, speaking of which, how much XP am I off by? Ooh, large amount. Kraken definitely wanted me dead. I was like, listen, chat, there just comes a point when you're fighting the boss where you're like, I could heal and take it slow, or I could just win. You gotta make those judgment calls. I feel like I'm being attacked by like heads of transformers. I don't, I don't really know what they're supposed to be. Well, these guys are ultra tanky. Wow, I've gone almost pure power and I do no damage to them. That's kind of crazy. The fact that it takes me like triple hit. I would really love if there was a healing spring here, I'm not gonna lie. Probably not gonna be though. Oh, uh, well, hmm. G chat. Oh, you just left up more monsters? I'm disappointed in you, game. We'll go back there in a moment. What's over here to the left then? I thought that was gonna be an easy healing spring. Or if you guys just drop X Ether, I'm pretty sure one of you does. I'll take it. Yeah, unfortunately, when they duck underground, they are invincible. But the game also lags sometimes and doesn't display them properly. So, you know, you, you gotta swing sometimes. Please don't be a lock room. Okay, checking for optional rooms. Okay. Oh, that room, <laughs> that room looked horrendous. Uh, I'd like to hard pass on that room, please. Try to level a little more here. I'm not that far off from leveling, since those other enemies were worth a lot. I'm more worried about the mage. I don't care about the the soldiers. It's all this. Seriously. Was it Axe that went through these? We haven't had to deal with this in so long. Oh, you know what? It was uh, Scythe. It was Scythe. Where is Sickle? There it is. Hey, where's our upgraded Sickle, by the way? So sad. Wait, are you telling me it's a freeze? It's a freeze puzzle? <sighs> I'm disappointed in you, game. Alright, well, I'm good. I'm just going to go level up to restore my MP. 
<laughs> just annoying. I'm not that far from leveling. What else is over here? Is this the room that I could have gone to earlier? It is. Right, if we kill you, I should hopefully level. Yeah, there we go. Well, time level up, Chad. I mean, like, look how many times I'm hitting them and look at our power score. Like, I'm almost done with our power. I'm very tempted to take wisdom to make puzzles not as annoying, but it's fine. We're gonna believe in the stamina. So we have 48 points worth of defense. Our willpower is okay. Our attack power is almost 80. So we do hilarious amounts of damage. Okay. So what we have to do is freeze all of the non-mages. Oh, they died, died. Oh, that's so annoying. Also, how come I can kill these two and they come back, but in this room it doesn't? Is that a glitch? <laughs> oh, that's very glitchy. So I don't think you're supposed to be able to break a door that's already open, but on top of that, in general, Normally, if you kill every enemy, they stop spawning, but that seems very glitchy. Unless that's intended to power level you, which is very funny if that's what they thought. So I have to go walk around and reset this stupid room. So let's go backwards a little more, and then we'll go forwards one. Yeah, like, see how he was, like, underground? Like, he was in the bubble animation, but I still hit him. That's why I don't, that's why I don't trust the game. Like, I know what the intent of the game is, but I'm like, listen, you're not gonna render correctly. I don't believe you. I guess where he was, I was slightly off. That's so sad. Alright, let's hope that that's enough to reset the room over, over there. I think we need at least four rooms away, and then it should reset. Anyway, we have a hilarious amount of cash. Let's hopefully I dodged where, wherever he is. I just guessed. So yeah, maybe that's there to try to force a level of? I'm just thinking, like, why is that room different than the other rooms? Uh, so we're gonna do a safety save. We're gonna do a safety save. We're going to ice them. Need this guy to move over here a little more. Seriously. <sighs> Come on. No, just let me move. No. <laughs> this enemy is so annoying. Why do I still not have a shield that blocks that? This kills me. We're gonna be here for like all eternity, chat. I'm never escaping this. I'd really prefer not to use my heal if I don't need to. Please let me move. Thank you. All right, so unfortunately I have max willpower, so I have to do this or I'm gonna kill it by accident. So we're gonna... <sighs> Did I seriously move it too far down? You gotta be kidding me, reset. That puzzle's more annoying than it should be. It's like when you know what to do, but distance denies you. So sad. So the problem, as I said before, if they didn't have the stupid plants there, I would have been fine. It's just kind of like an unneeded level of difficulty to the puzzle. So while that enemy is stuck over there, let me sickle him to death. Okay. So we need this other guy to not spin in circles like an absolute idiot and come over here. Oh, I have the ice spell already equipped, okay. Come on. Come on, you, you have to, you have to come over here, or I can't complete the puzzle. Game. I can't do it while you're there. I can't get above you. There we go. What? Did you seriously lunge? I hate you so much. <laughs> Tower being held hostage by RNG movement. I need him to go left. Go left. And I need to get rid of the sickle power up so I don't accidentally hit the snowman. I still hit the snowman. Come on. Okay, right, there, so there's no saving that one. We gotta reset again. Not my favorite part of the game, for sure. I wish there was a slightly easier way to maneuver them, but like once they're in a place, you can't really get through them, and I will one-shot everything at this point. So you're done. Okay, this is better. If I, if I, <sighs> gotta switch to spear to maybe not kill the other guy. Okay. So now we can, now we can finally whip this. 
Or scythe that I mean. Although I gotta be really careful because the sickle is stupid far in range. Please don't hit. Good. Wait, is that another position where I can't do anything? Hold on. Oh, I could barely save it. Okay, I could save it. <sighs> Please don't kill the other guy. Okay, so he has to be frozen. So I, I need this guy to cooperate. I really need this guy to cooperate. Please don't go over there. Okay. Okay, I think he cooperated enough. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's so much more annoying than that should be. It's like, it's like a simple puzzle, but at the same time, it's like, it's so dreadful trying to maneuver the snowman. So dreadful. Alright, so, so so the sickle doesn't work at all, but Morning Star does. Man, Morning Star OP. I mean, I'm gonna kill everything between me and the target, because I would like to level up in the next area at some point to save ourselves some time. Uh yeah. This is actually turning into quite a dungeon, I'm not gonna lie. Like, we are going a very long time. Like, we've killed a boss and we are still continuing because we have not received the sword. As a reminder, chat, we still have not received it. There might be another boss then, but I swear once we do this, we'll be at the end of the game. We just gotta go up the tower, I think. Okay. Found a crystal? Okay. Well, if I find another boss, I have another crystal to burn. Is there nothing to do in here? What? Well, that's unfortunate. Well... Check the map real quick. There is only that one room. What am I missing? Can I go downwards in this room? Like, I wanted to go up for the obvious reason that there's a door there that doesn't seem to do anything else. No. Oh, you could just walk on that. Interesting. I wasn't sure if it would let me. Wait, do I have to go that way? I don't see what else I would do. Hmm. I don't remember this part of the game. I mean, if I need MP for a puzzle, I'm going to just go level again. So, like, I don't think we've ever dealt with lava tiles up until this point in the game. So what does it want us to do? Do we need to somehow freeze it? Do I need to ice sword and prevent myself from going across? Hmm. Because if I'm able to walk across that, then, the, you know, then it's, you know, problem solved. But it feels like I'm going to take a million damage and die. So I, so I can experiment after I level, is what I was going to say. Okay, more power up. I did not mean to use magic there, that really sucks. I actually went to do this and then this. That's fine. So curiosity. No, I just get stuck in place. I mean, if that's what it wanted, I got through. I'm gonna do another safety save. I'll do it here. Oh, cool. It just went through the floor. I don't recall what the intended tactic was, but we got through it, chat. That's all that matters. Please, if you drop an X-Cure, I'll be very happy. x ether? No? No takers, apparently. I would like to not take that damage, please. <laughs> We're going to save again, because I feel like I'm about to take damage doing this. Oh no, I managed to get through. There's no point to this room so far. I could die randomly by getting clipped by one of the enemies. I'm just checking the walls right now. Nope, this room was pointless. Cool. Oh, 
that mouse hit me. That would have been GG. Remember, that thing poisons, so we're gonna die real fast if that hits us. Especially with our HP total. Okay, I have a couple questions. <laughs> Why does the flame cause darkness sal status ailment? And second of all, do I die if I'm at- Okay, I do die if I touch it. So how am I supposed to get through this normally? Hmm. Am I missing a key item or something and I just bullied my way through? Hmm. Interesting. So we could heal. I'm just thinking about if there's something else I want to do. Hmm. Oh well, let's proceed. I'm guessing this is mandatory. I just don't remember the force damage, which kind of sucks. Because I'm injured from earlier. And I'm not that close to leveling. So we're going to have to go restock on healing items after this. Yeah, as you can see, healing items do not scale that well in the game. Alright, let's see if this is good enough to cross. If I try to cheese it a little. Let's see if this works. No. So I, I can bonk into the enemy to take reduced damage. Ugh, that's horrendous. Hold on, chat. I want to check one more thing before we go further. So I could damage boost my way through the lava, which is fine if I need to do that. I'm just, I'm just making sure I didn't miss any other passageways. And then I'm going to double check, because if I level again, I can heal after this lava. So let me, let me at minimum get a little more XP in case I do need to level before a boss. Oh, he spawned invisible on me. That sucked. I'm surprised this room didn't give me an item. Hmm. Oh well. So if I'm really desperate, I can use the elixir. I want to save it for the final boss. If able. Final boss, if I could get to the final phase, it's over. I just have to have enough healing to get through two phases. And there's a very cheap strategy I'm going to be abusing with the crystals. So you know what, the crystals I might actually keep for the final boss, to be honest with you. They're going to be like my get out of jail free card on phase one. Phase one is the phase I'm really worried about, and then I can use all my healing in phase two. We are so low on healing though. So, it's so unfortunate. Um, can I damage boost with him to get through this easier? No. Oh, so if the, if the devil had actually walked closer, I could have gotten through that, actually. Correction. Alright, so we need, we need cooperative RNG to get through this. Words you don't want to hear while playing a video game. So that does insane damage to me. I can maybe do something like this? Oh, it was like a pixel from touching the flame. I was so close. <laughs> it was sort of cooperating with me. It just knocked me back further than I wanted. So I have to heal up to survive one tap of lava. I don't know where there's a recovery thing here or if there even is. I need the flame to be close. I'm gonna save so that way I don't need to do the heal again. No, see, that's not cooperative RNG. Come here, help me out. No. I need you to go upwards. <laughs> Game, please. I don't want to exit the dungeon because I don't have enough healing. Um, this'll work. Oh! <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I didn't have a key? Oh my gosh, could you imagine a world I didn't bring that key? Oh my gosh, get out of here. Stupid. I swear, if this is for a bonus item... Of course it was. Do I really want the Zeus Axe? Can I even leave with the Zeus Axe? 
I guess I could try the fire armor to see if it makes me immune. I did pick that up earlier. Also, by the way, I never found a better helmet, so we're stuck with that. Maybe, maybe that's what will give us immunity. I didn't really think about that until just now. I mean, if it gives me immunity, that'd be nice. But there's like 0% chance I'm getting through this with our current items. Let's find out. Nope. I don't know if I could take the Zusax then. Huh. I might have to just leave it because I don't see a world in which I could use this. Okay, so let's go this way then. Unless we get more healing from these guys, which they do give healing as a reminder. They give X cures, I think the soldiers do. And the mage gives X ether. If we get either of those, I could take the Zeus Axe. But again, that's requiring the game to cooperate with us. Actually, I just thought of something. Can I just do this to respawn them if I kill them all by accident? Yes, I can. Good. I mean, I can force a level up here to give us the Zeus Axe, maybe. I really need them to give me a healing item, though. Please. I know you dropped them. We've received them before. It, it would be nice if any of you dropped an X cure. I kind of need one. No? <laughs> right, chat? No, we're just, just not gonna grant it. Cool. Oh, there's the X cure. Thank you. I think with that, I might be able to cross now, because I can heal enough that I can survive one more lava attempt. And then when I'm out, I can level on these enemies, I think. Yeah, that, that'll set us up, so that way you can full heal. I, I think that's enough healing to cross. If I'm really desperate, I can level on the devil, or I don't need, like, that much more XP. So I am wearing the fire stuff now. No, I'm not. It unequipped it. I guess this is just a check if you have high willpower. If you have high willpower, I don't think this kind of check is hard. But for us, it's just kind of BS, to be honest with you. I mean, look at this. Like, we need the enemy to come towards us to even cross this at all. Wow. Nope. 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 I got stuck. So it does about 150, so if it can heal up to 150, I'm fine. But the problem is that X-Cure doesn't really scale that well. Oh, that was a that was a clean damage boost. I think we could all agree that'll save me some time. Clean. And if I really need to level, I can kill these guys to level with resets. So, okay. Now I think it's possible. Okay, can I get clean damage boost to save myself some healing items? We need the enemy to cooperate. That is not good enough. What are you? We'll never find out, apparently. Please go away. Another crystal. Um... Honestly, I think it is worth saving the crystals at this point. So we have so many, I might as well use it on the upcoming boss. I didn't want to before, now I kind of do. Do I want to level up to heal? If nothing else, I'm going to put myself close, so I have the option. We got stuck a little bit, but we got through. That's all that matters. Okay, good. We now have the Zeus Axe, and I didn't use that much healing. I got another healing item, so let's go level here. I think I'm going to take a point in Wisdom, maybe just for this dungeon. I don't really like doing that, but I'm really highly considering it. Or actually, never mind. I got another cure item. We're fine. Yeah, there we go. No, chat, we're double downing. <laughs> More power, chat. It's such a shame because I know, like, literally as soon as we're done with this, I'm going to have infinite MP, and it just, it does not matter at all. Um... Alright, so we haven't gone to the right here. So let's save. We're almost at max power, so the rest of our levels could go in willpower after a certain point. So I never went up from here. We're getting tankier every time I level. Morning star, please. Morning star, please. Oh, you know what? I'm just resetting. I'm not taking that damage. <laughs> the actual save's coming is happening, Chad. I'm like, listen. 
Poison is such a waste of time and MP. I just, I'd rather just take like one or two damage and move on. Missing a Morning Star is so painful versus these enemies. They are actually horrendous. See, it almost hit me there, even though it was Morning Star in the correct direction. Come on. Oh, I hate the mice so much. Fine, I'll use MP. Can't carry whatever they draw. Um. I would love to get rid of the bone key, but I don't trust myself. So we have like a million cash. Once we get rid of the bone key, we could get another healing item with this. We definitely need way more healing if we want to beat uh, one of the later enemies. Because I have one elixir, which is fine. Probably should have gone for two elixirs, honestly, in hindsight. Just to make sure I get through phase two of the final boss. We have enough crystals to cheese phase one. So if we have to fight another boss, I will absolutely equip the crystal. Okay. Our willpower charges pretty quickly. Essentially, when we're in the last couple of bosses, we will only be attacking if we have full willpower. We'll be playing a dodging minigame until it's up. The reason being is that the sword with its invincibility is incredibly good. So we're going to be using that to fly everywhere. Game, please. So we are maybe, I think, a dungeon away from the final area. We just have to get this annoying sword. They make you work for this item, chat. Holy. The padding is real. I'd like to point out that I think this is now officially the longest dungeon we've ever been in. We've gone through two entire areas and we still have not achieved our goal. Not that far off from leveling again. Okay, still can't kill the eye things. That's fine. Alright, so we got multiple three-way doors. I don't ever want to use the Zeus Axe, by the way, if chat is curious. I don't want a slow, non-range weapon in our inventory if I can avoid it. Oh, oh, you put the healing spring here? That's just rude. Where was it in the other floor? It would have made it so much easier. Stupid. <laughs> right, chat? Where was it earlier? Why wasn't it right after the lava pit? That would have made... Or if, or if the Zeus Axe connected to that, that would have made a lot of sense. Another locked door. Wow. Could you imagine going this deep, chat, and not being able to progress? Can you imagine? How tilting that would be to get this far. I don't think anything here drops key. Okay, so we can't go that way. Double locked doors. We're playing pick a path. Okay. I realize we're playing Pick a Path. I don't think that key was even needed. That just feels cruel. What is the oh, what is the point of these rooms other than to waste your keys? This is so rude. Uh, let's equip the fire axe. I, there's so many doors. Make sure you don't drop anything when we kill everything. Was there no point to this room? I mean, I don't mind burning a key or two. Listen, I'm okay with it. I want you to understand how ridiculous these dungeons are. <laughs> I'm just like, it's fine. We we have enough keys to still beat the funnel, or the, the last place where I need keys. I have enough keys still. We lost our four set of safety keys though. Um, So that was literally a pointless room. No items, no doors, it didn't go anywhere. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Speaking of which, how close are we to leveling? Oh, we're insanely close. I am very tempted to just put another point in MP so I don't have to deal with this area. But I don't think one extra cure would do it at this point, sadly. More power chat. I want to make sure we one-shot this final boss. Alright, so we went in a big circle. There's nothing there. So we didn't go down and right, which I think also required a key. For the obvious reason of I don't want to use keys unless I think they're required. Also, 
That was kind of unfortunate. We pulled the enemy into us. That got us damaged. Uh, so is this place required? I still have enough keys to beat the other area. You've got to be kidding me. Unless it's in one of the corners. Unless it's one of the corners. Okay. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, if we went into another room where it was the dead end and there's nothing we could do, I'd be like, <laughs> what is this? Oh no, chat. I I don't remember this portion of the game at all. Are we playing literal Picador? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. <sighs> okay, chat. We're gonna take a deep breath. We have to ask ourselves the question. How hateful do we think the developers are? Chat, if we if we if we ask ourselves these questions. We could, we could determine through facts and logic which one of these doors is useful. So let's put ourselves in the shoes of the game developers. Most players will pick the left door. I will not pick the left door. The question is, do they feel benevolent and the second door is the right answer to account for people going left or right first? Or do they hate the player and they put it in the right door? I'm gonna go with a hate the player. I'm going in the right door. <laughs> Chat, that that's my law. I'm going with it. If this somehow, if this doesn't go there, then I'm like, you got me. Then we'll go middle door. And if it's left door, I'm gonna be like, you got me. You got me in another dimension. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope this brings me to where I need to be. Oh, freeze puzzles. Come on, seriously. Are we are we really doing this? Another freeze puzzle? Jeez. There's exactly two enemies in here, and they're not in good positions whatsoever. Let's kill them. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Let's save right here. Let's force them to reset. We need them in a better position. That is a lot of enemies. We're not super close to leveling again. I'd really prefer not to have to level again if we mess this up. So close. I just need, like... Alright. We have everything we need. I just need to be smart about this. So the easiest one to do would be this one first. Put you over here. I swear if that other guy gets me. Get away from me! Go away. I'm gonna hope that's on the switch. We're gonna do we're gonna You've how, why, game. Seriously. <sighs> Reset. It's stuck, in case you were curious. I couldn't touch it. I know. See, this is where, like... I think the game's falling a little bit apart. These ice puzzles are way more annoying than they should be. For the sheer fact that the snowmen can get stuck in things. Or they could be in a position where you can't hit them. And they purposely put them in a room with a lot of annoying enemies. Which does not help. Did he really just fly downwards at the last second? Oh my god. Chat, please. Please stop flying downwards. You're killing me, literally and figuratively. Also, why is my ice spell not equipped? Let me save with the ice spell so I don't have to keep really equipping that. Alright, so we have a delayed ice spell that we needed to land on an enemy while it's not in a place we can't deal with. And the question is, can we freeze this enemy? We can. Good. Right, I'm assuming, by the way, the game kind of, like, thought about it for a second that we're good that that's on the switch if that's not on the switch i have one thing i could do to correct that and we have literally one attempt at it i need this enemy to go away all right so i'm gonna go here i like the snowman kind of like freaking out when i slide it it's comforting <laughs> how did that how did both of those not count as on the switch you gotta be kidding me it really wants the bottom of it to be, like, dead center. 
Shake your head, chat. Yeah, I can, I can work with this. I need this other enemy up here. Do you mind coming up here? Did someone come up here? So I don't have to do the world's longest journey. Because I, I can't fix the snowman after it hits a certain point. Oh, man. Come on. I'm begging you, please. Please? Of course, that eats the icicle. Of course it would, that's fine. I can probably do it from here, this is fine. We're gonna try to... Did I go too... F oh, I went too far, come on. You see what I mean, chat? This is the stuff I don't miss about Final Fantasy Adventure. I have fun with the game up until it wants to do puzzles that I'm like... If there was a more consistent way you could stop it from getting stuck against the wall, like if you could pull the snowman, then I would have no problems with the puzzles. But you can't. So we gotta deal with what we need. As you can see, I'm kind of at the mercy of enemy RNG, what they do. Which is not really fun to deal with. I'm gonna move you over here. Actually, no. I already messed it up. I can't do that. <sighs> Just... Okay. Freeze. Thank you. Can we kill you while you're up here? That would be really convenient. See, I don't care about the one down there. The one down there could get pushed against the wall. The other one, they have to come up here. So you see what I mean? Like, there's nothing I could do to really speed this up. I don't have a way of moving the snowman that doesn't kill the snowman. And I can't use this far wall at all, because then I can't push it to the right. So I have to wait for one of these enemies to go in a place where I could push it. And I think that might be good enough. Or the game is trolling and it went downwards at the last second. I think the game actually trolled me. I think the game trolled me. I will try to fix it briefly here. I think I pushed it one tile too high. Yeah, I pushed it too high. This puzzle sucks. I'm like, that's all I want, chat. You know what I want. And it's like, it just, it will not give it to me. It's just like one of those things where it's like it, it should have also been a bit more generous with the switches. Like it was lined up vertic like horizontally, but not vertically. And you but you can't fix it vertically. So it's like, what are you supposed to do if it's not perfectly aligned? You have one chance to whip it and that's it. It's really unfortunate when they do that. Okay, I might leave that guy there. Oh, I th oh if I was faster, I could have frozen that one. Game is saying you're forbidden, exactly. Please line up and don't go downwards at the last second. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna move it really slow. So I'm like, that is that is as perfect as it's ever going to get. If that doesn't count, I'm gonna like lose my mind. <laughs> I think we can all agree, chat. If that doesn't count, actual shenanigans. Ugh. Horrible. Actually, saving the next floor. It's like, oh my gosh. Get me out of this room. Stupid. Uh let's heal. Then we'll go fight the presumably the boss. A little extra healing for later. Um. Okay. Oh. You are quite a creature. Oh, so you have the same pattern as uh, Chimera, except you're way smaller, so you're way easier. Oh. You know what? I don't think I ever use the Thunder Spear here. Let's actually use it. Oh, I thought he was done. Hmm. Yeah, he's just Chimera with more steps. I mean, he's not hard. We fought the Chimera already. I've seen this boss pattern, so I know what to do. I'm gonna hope that's his weakness. Wait, did he just do, like, two damage? Was that all he did? <sighs> Lining that up is more difficult than it looks. I wish his arms were targetable, just the center masses. Oh, that actually works. But is he targetable when he's in that ball? Hold on. Or did I just get lucky? Huh, I think I just got lucky. Uh, we'll burn a couple X cures. So I guess the, like there's like a frame where he reinitializes the attack, and that lets you. Okay, the game, please. <laughs> why, why did you turn into Terranigma? Stop this. I'd like to hit you more than... I would like to hit you more than once every, like, 20 seconds. Please don't Terranigma me. 
<laughs> right, chat? Please don't. I would like to complete this game in a reasonable amount of time. Okay. I, I think I did mostly fine with that boss battle. I took like two stupid hits, but because we were injured, I can't carry. Oh, am I out of weapon room? That's awkward. Um... I guess I'll just get rid of Battle Axe? Wait, what? I'll get rid of Wear Axe. Oh, I guess it's to make sure you can't softlock yourself. That's fair. We received Rusty. Rusty Sword? Is this the Excalibur? Ooh, that was a dungeon. So anyway, chat, I think we're now at the end of the game. Oh, I went to ask Chocobo, but we didn't invite him in the party. Alright, so basically we need to restock keys and healing items. You, I think, just had magic. I don't think I want magic from you at all. Well, there we go, chat. I, I used the Thunder Spear briefly because... <laughs> I don't know if it was his weakness, I just did it. I don't think it really matters, to be honest with you. Um, What was over here, by the way? Oh, this just lets a little water area down here. Okay, but this doesn't lead to anything else. Okay. Tell him to back off, right, chat? Holy. I mean, I think the next dungeon is sort of long. I don't think it's quite as long as that was, because that was literally two dungeons and two bosses string together. While the other one is somewhat tall, I don't think it's quite as annoying. Alright, so basically what we learned, chat, is because I believe the game designers are spiteful, <laughs> I saved a lot of time <laughs> on the Picador. Could you imagine? Like, who even knows what those other doors are? Let's never find out. I'm never going back. Alright, chat, just roll your eyes. I'm, I'm not going through that. Like, what would it have been at best? Like, armor? More things to waste keys on? I don't think so. Uh, can I sell some items? I guess I don't need the bone key anymore. I'm just gonna get rid of that. So we have... We have 15 keys, which might be enough. I don't plan on ever using the wind spear again. So I'm just gonna sell that for money. Um... I don't know if I... I don't think I'm gonna use the silver sword ever again, so let's get rid of that too. Just less to inventory through. So now I can go back, we could get to the healing pond. Found Thunder. I don't think that's gonna be all that useful, to be honest with you. So we're gonna fight our way back. Maybe we'll pick up some random items that are useful. That can shortcut us a little bit of time there. <laughs> you see Rusty sounded like Rusty was a person. He's a person in our hearts. Okay, so I'm um, okay. So what was to the left here? We, I don't think we went left here, right? Ooh, I don't think we did. What was here? Uh, out of room again. Yeah, get rid of these. Man, I would love to hold more healing items. Um, we get rid of the triple key, because I bought another key of four. Get more safety heal, maybe? Like, we're cutting it a little close. Like, my healing is really bad at this point in the game. So we have 16 keys, which should be good enough to do the dungeon. As long as I don't get super lost. We have six crystal, or no, five crystal. 
which is way more than enough to cheese the final boss. So at this point, I just need to make it to the end. We have one X Ether for emergency heals. I won't need it for anything at all other than heals. Because I don't believe there's any... If there are magic puzzles, I'm going to be with a partner that lets me... Oh, that's actually a perfect pickup then. Um, I'm going to be with a partner that gives me infinite MP anyway. So even if there are ice puzzles, it doesn't matter. So we'll, we'll take that and move forward. So it's very likely I'm going to level maybe two more times before the end of the game. And then whatever we have is what we're going to beat the game with. I don't like how much damage I'm taking here. I'm going to do a safety save. Although I'm also about to level. I guess I could just murder. Uh, yeah, it's probably better to murder here. Assuming I don't die getting whipped into the post like that. That was scary. There we go. Because at this point forward, I don't need MP. I just need damage and defense. I'm not going to be using MP on the, any of the upcoming fights unless I need healing. Alright, so we saved a heal for later. I'm okay with. I get to decide when I get a kill. Okay. So now we got to go back to Siba, who was... I have to think about this again, Chad. I think he was left. So we're just following the coast. And then we need to go in the snowy area again, because I think he's here. So yeah, I think I might just play until we beat the game. We're very close, as I said before. There we go. I could have maybe come the other way through, but that's fine. Well, actually, I think I'm going to unintentionally level here, which kind of sucks, because I need to use the axe. Unfortunate. Alright, since stamina doesn't really matter anymore, I want more power. We have almost 300 HP, which I'm going to be using to tank, I think, the final phase of the boss. I know when I get through one of the phases of the boss, I'll be able to basically have infinite healing. So I'm not really all that worried when it comes to that, at least. How did our axe not insta-kill? Man, axe are so bad. <laughs> Right, chat, we've gained like five levels. Still didn't one shot. Meanwhile, we Morning Star one shot. Stupid axe. Morning Star OP. Yeah, look at that. Axe is so bad. Or at least throwing axe is terrible. And carry. Well, time to get emergency experience for later, because I'm probably gonna heal myself via level when we go to the final boss, and that will be our last level. Will be an intentional level right before the boss. Just a full restore without using items. So I don't want to get like too over leveled because then it just gets more annoying to level again. So there's the cave. Am I missing something? Wait, where was the castle? I'm looking for the castle, chat, just for clarity. I thought it was here. Was it not here? Oh, it's over too. Okay. Okay, it's fine. We'll reposition. <laughs> For some reason, I thought the I thought the town was in the bottom right, and I went up. But maybe I got them flipped in my head. Oh well. Time to snowman murder.
Wait, what? <laughs> it's left a screen from here? That doesn't sound right. Did I miss the exit or something? Because I don't think I could go down from here. Wait a minute, now I'm confused. Where's Siva? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for the castle we were at earlier. I thought it was here. Oops, I should have looked at the map. Hmm. So it's not where I thought it was. I'm just thinking. I'm like trying to track in my head where it last was. Like once we're past this, we're home free. This will be the last bit of navigation I have to do. Where is it? I thought it was here. Maybe it was to the... Maybe it was before the trees? Because I was like, I'm pretty sure this was it because we had to go in the ice cave to free them. Maybe I just misremembered where it was. Let me check the map real quick. But that doesn't line up with anything. Unless it doesn't count as a town. Which is fair, it might not. We're gonna check to the right here. If this is not the castle, then I'm not sure where to go. This is fine. Okay, this this is looking familiar. Okay, so it what okay, so technically <laughs> technically it was in the bottom right and I had to go upwards, but I forgot that uh Wrong, wrong bottom right. I had to go further south. So I had the right instinct. I just took the wrong path to go there. Do you have anything to say, King, by the way? I don't remember. Oh, you just say he's waiting in the other room. Okay. Get out of my way, villager. Just throw an axe at you full screen. Had enough of you. The only way left is to reveal the Dime Tower. Okay, chat. Second to final area. Dime Tower? In the Desert of Crystal, how? That sword will help you. Use it in the Cave of Ruins. You'll see it. Hmm. This rusty sword has such great power? The Sword of Legend shows its real power only when it approves of your, of your using it. If you're a real Knight of Gemma, it will help you. But I don't know if it... Don't worry. Now go. The Cave of Ruins is in the desert near Ish. Ask Dr. Bow Wow. He knows it well. Oh, you are really assuming I remember how to get back to Ish. That is very bold of you. <laughs> Let me think about it. I think I gotta go... I gotta go south, then maybe west? And then south again? Very bold of them, chat. Very bold. So I think I have to use the chocobo to go this way. Then we go up. I think Ish wasn't too hard to get to, fortunately, if I remember where this is correctly. We gotta go... I think this is literally it. Okay. Yeah, fortunately, it's right next to it. Okay. Much harder to get lost on that. <laughs> Much harder. So let's talk to Dr. Bow Wow. Chad, if you're curious... Uh, for people that are looking to speedrun the game, all this navigation I did is skipped because you never get the chocobo. They just skip right to the end of the game, <laughs> if you're curious. They teleport to the snow fields, then in that horrible ice maze, uh, they zip to the final area of the game, literally. 
So if you're curious what a speedrun looks like of this game, <laughs> you've seen 80% of it already, but not in the way that you think. I knew you would do it. Oh, you're just going to tell me about this again. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you have nothing new to say, even though we just came back with the sword. Cool. Yeah, I know. We, we know about the Excalibur. Why are we pretending like we don't know this? Game, please. Yeah, I think they somehow wedge themselves with the ice and get the game confused. So if you recall, we were kind of like zipping around on the ice. I believe you have to use a snowman, so that way you could stop yourself at certain portions of the screen, and then you basically wrong warp to the literal second to final screen of the game. And then they, they power grind on the enemies right beforehand, so that way they can actually kill the boss. Let's talk to Bow Wow. I looked it up after our first session because I was curious. Finally, there is a piece of crystal. You can blow with Nuke in Crystal Desert. Find it. Oh, we do need Nuke for something. Wow, I just don't remember fighting Death then. Okay, well... I mean, at least we should be getting good armor soonish. Oh, you are such a troll. You are such a troll. You walked downwards right as I was about to pass you. Get out of my way. Listen, I will bully you in the corner and you will deal with it. I don't feel like killing you on screen. It'll take too long. Oh, oops. I thought I used ask. Hmm. Question is which crystal is it referring to? Hmm. Be there. I doubt it's there. I don't think it's there. Could be there. Okay, I'm looking for something that's potentially against a mountain. This feels li like, see where that monster spawned? I feel like the door is probably there. So let's just hope it's this one so that way we don't just go nuking literally the entire crystal desert. Cool. Did he really just body block us? Ah, uh, so that's the two crystals in the middle were not it. Hmm. Oh, interesting. We saved wall in that. <laughs> Battle axe, you're so useless. I hate, I hate when we're forced to use you. I can't carry. Come on, I just I just want to check the crystals out and I'm just getting blocked by random items. It's so annoying. I'm so close, chat. Um I see, I would have thought this would have been here. Maybe I am misremembering. I'm gonna try one more time. Like, I feel like this opens up, that's why I'm confused. Maybe I just missed or something weird. So let's try them one more time and then we'll we'll pick another area. Just to make sure. Nope. Nope. Hmm. So let's reset. So we're playing Find the Dungeon Entrance chat. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. So it could be this screen, potentially. Is there anything else that feels like it would be it, is the question. I swear, if it's like right here, I'm gonna be kind of tilted. I feel like, why is it here? Not finding it so far. Hmm. Nope. 
Oh boy, chat. We're gonna be here a while. I don't remember where the entrance is at all. It's not like the Oasis where it's like memorable because you get trolled. I'm just looking for the right crystal. Also, do I not have... I didn't save with Nuke Equip. Let's save with Nuke Equip. So we're just trying to figure out which one it is. That's all we need, chat. Once we find it, we're, we're in the end game. I just have to find which one it is. That's fair. Okay. The game has punished me for not being a magic user, but that's fun. Hmm. Dare I even throw an item away to see what this is? I don't think I do. Don't think I do. We're about to receive infinite MP, fortunately. Just have to get a little bit further. Well, who would have thought, Chad, the final- one of the final sets of enemies are snails and mirrors. Can't say I would have called that particular combination. Like, undead warriors, or like guardians, like, or robots. Like, yeah, I can kind of see it. Ooh, I got lasered. I'll call some other leveling pretty close. Ooh. Found a dragon shield? Okay, that's promising. So maybe we could block four attacks, question mark. It's not quite the best art or shield in the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll check we'll check to the sides real quick, but it feels like a pretty straightforward room. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'd like to kill this enemy. I would love to kill this enemy. So nothing unlocks for killing him. Um, I guess I'll start by going left first, since I give it a choice. Again, we don't have inventory space. It, if we did not have, like, to use a million keys, I would have loved to have seen what these items were as a reminder, but it's not gonna happen. My fear of running out of keys is too strong. Oh, we found, we found a weapon I'm probably never gonna use, thank you. I'm like, listen, Chad. I mean, the the dragon, the sword when the willpower is up, I like. The sword by itself, hell no. <laughs> right, Chad? No way. All right, so what's up here? Oh, dead end. Ooh, nice level up, actually. More power, Chad. More power. Getting like one extra defense point, which does make our health pretty good. The fact we're almost at 300 is very silly. I think when I beat this game, I originally had like 220-ish health because I ended up putting points of wisdom. So I decided to see how it feels to not put points in wisdom. And only like one room was like really annoying in the lava cave. Otherwise, I haven't really been missing it in boss battles. I got kind of greedy with the crystal. I promise you they will be used. Also, is that even a combo I could do? I don't think it is. We, uh... Thank you. So yeah, so at most I'm thinking we'll get two more levels by the end of the game. We might be literally 50 at, at most. But I'm thinking probably 49 is the level we'll hit the final area. Unless I kill everything we come across, then we might get more. Yeah, see, the full charge boarding star at this point is legit one-shotting. So, like, I would rather have weapons with actual reach than put stronger weapons that are terrible into our inventory. Let's 
yeah, I think there's a couple weapons I missed up until this point, but I don't think it really matters. What is this? Cool. Oh, so you're the Chimera again. Cool. Only in a very annoying arena. Got it. The fact that this can double hit is insane. Please don't force me to heal. Oh, I got greedy. I was hoping he was gonna die there. We were very close to killing him though. I think the downside is just that literal, the literal entranceway to the room just does damage to you. Like that's so rude. Do I just wait for him to hit me is the question to avoid taking 150. It might be worth it. No, he's just not going to come down and hit me. <sighs> Seriously? So sad, chat. I guess he's programmed to not come down unless I enter the arena. That sucks. Oh well. So we don't need many hits on him. In fact, if we time it right, you see how I'm getting a double hit there? That's what makes the Morning Star OP, especially when we have high power. You see that? Another double hit. Sick. That is basically cutting the time down we need for the boss. It's easier to hit it on, like, the diagonal. So, like, there we could potentially double hit. Yeah, it's not a hard boss. It just got kind of unlucky, honestly. Are you really gonna make me take damage to leave, too? That is so rude of you. <laughs> that is so rude of you, Adventures of, uh, or Final Fantasy Adventures. Very rude. Wait, what's the point of this? Oh, use the rusty sword. Da, 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 da. They told us that. Hmm. Oh, oh, it, I'm sorry. I, I had to leave the switch and then step on it. You got me, Final Fantasy Adventure. Rusty Sword released its mystic power. You got me. You got me. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I'm like, oh. <laughs> right, chat? You got me. Tower of Dime appears somewhere in this desert. How many keys do I got? Do I have enough? One, two, three, four. Honestly, I feel like I don't. <sighs> I could get rid of X Ether. End up with four, five sets of keys. <sighs> See, the problem is I remember this dungeon ate a lot of keys. I'm, that might not be, I might be lowballing the keys still. Let, let's get more. Let's get more keys. Because once once we enter this tower, we can't go back to the stores. So if we run out of keys, it's over. Like, I, I cannot understate to you how bad it is if I run out of keys. We basically have to undo the entire playthrough until after the point we're here. So if I went like three or four levels up in this tower and I ran out of keys, it's over. Game, please get me out of this dialogue. Please, I beg of you. I'm hitting buttons. I beg of you. Thank you. I don't care about Vandal. I just want to use the inn because I don't care about our money total. 10 GP this late in the game does not matter. Like, not even 1% of our funds. I don't care. So, we, we are going in with the fear of this tower, chat. Absolute fear. I do not want to deal with this. So, I'm going to play it a little riskier. I'm going to get rid of some of my safety heals, which is not fortunate. I have probably one crystal too many. I will sell a crystal for the final boss. I think I need three. Four is like a comfort. Uh, let's get rid of all the x -Ethers. And I will replace them with keys. And we'll, we will see how many I end up needing. So remember this, chat. I got three more sets of keys. And I hope I never get lost, or I'm done. <laughs> I'm just like, we, we are buying the keys. Okay, so how many keys do I have total is the question. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Could I possibly get another set of keys without giving up a crystal? <sighs> I'll get rid of an X cure because we have an elixir. And I have infinite healing in that dungeon through infinite MP. I will take eight sets of keys, chat. You know what's interesting, chat? We have done all these upgrades. I don't think at any point we came across another helmet. I'm definitely very curious where the other upgrade was. Maybe we'll check later after the playthrough. Or if we really are just sitting on Opal this long, which is kind of crazy. So I think there would at least be like a dragon helmet. Do you know what I mean? But it's possible we just haven't come to it yet. Okay. So how are we looking in terms of equipment? Let's just take a quick look. So I got the dragon shield. The dragon sword. We're gonna get at least one upgrade in the tower. I don't remember if it's a helmet or armor. And then, even if we didn't get another shield upgrade, I know that the final area has a shield. If I really want to farm for it. I'll kill on my way to the final boss. If we get it, we get it. If we don't get it, we don't get it. I think it does help with the final boss, blocking one attack specifically. So, it would actually be somewhat useful to do. Alright, we're just saving over both files. Hey, where's Choco Buddy? I'll oh, leave Choco Buddy at the hole. Unfortunate. Let's go get Choco Buddy. My bad, Choco Buddy. Okay. So we're just looking for where the tower appeared. Assuming it's down here somewhere. Oh yeah, given the cutscene, I'm going to assume it is here. Here we go, chat. Pen Ultimate Dungeon. Sadly, I think this is one of the dungeons I've done a little more than the other ones because I softlocked here. But we'll we'll see how much I remember from being softlocked, chat. Because <laughs> it's the tip before. I ran out of keys in this dungeon, and I will never, ever, ever, ever forgive the game for it. I am Marcy. I search relics. Dr. Bow Wow made me. He left me here. I waited 50 years. He forgot me. I can help you. Take me with you. Now we have infinite MP. So I will save here. I'll save at the top slot. Of course, the legend, the rusty sword does not do anything. I thought we unleashed its power, by the way. Why is it still rusty? Kind of BS. Uh, sorry, I have to remember which of our many weapons was good against this. I think it was the Flame Whip. So yeah, we have free damage with lasers full screen from our partner, but if we need MP, if we do the ask, we get MP. So I believe lore is over here. So let's go over here for lore reasons. So just showcasing, I just ask MP. Duck wizards and trash cans, nice. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't remember these enemies specifically, but I'm glad the... Did you just block our path? I got trolled by the, by the partner. So I believe there should be a lore tablet here, if I remember correctly. Yes, there is. The Tree of Mana grows with the en energy of nature. Yeah, so I'm going to try to take us to where the plot is. <laughs> okay, I can't destroy you. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So first floor is not too bad. Oh, here we go, chat. Will I have enough keys to beat this dungeon? I brought a lot, and you think I'm exaggerating, but we are going to lose so many damn keys. Oh my gosh. The evil force of people makes the tree evil. Ooh, man is bad, chat. Man, bad. Anyway, let's go this way. Uh... Robot buddy, do you mind killing this? I don't think it matters which path I take. Hey, can't do anything there. the other tablet did that eat a key by the way oh yeah i think the other tablet is this way i have to think chad it has been like 20 years since i last played this game oh i found the i found the exit never mind chad well, well i am not going back for the lore i will try to find it but i will not promise you anything i believe it was something like uh he who, he who reaches the Vera tree receives power, or something like that. It's not it's not very complicated stuff, chat, but uh, would have been nice to see. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Ah, oh, question, question, question. Take a look at the map again, real quick. A double room like that. Hmm. I think for some of these I can make a decision. I'm just looking for tablets now. Uh, tablets aren't there. Where is the tablet? Nope, can't carry you. That's fine. No, no tablet there. Okay, that's fine. I was trying to think back to it, and I'm like, I know there's a lot of rooms you can only go one way in, but I was like, but which ones lead to the tablets? That I don't remember as much. So we're on the hunt for more lore. There's the tablet. I felt like it was around here. Water from the evil mana tree turns people evil. Ooh. It is a vicious circle between energy and mana. There we go, chat. Uh, where was another tablet? That's the question. <laughs> we want to play the game of basically avoiding everything. No, thank you. That's kind of the peaceful journey of the final penultimate dungeon. I'm going to kill very little unless it's in my way. Like, listen, I got places to go. So essentially, we just need to keep climbing. As long as we're going upwards, we should be fine. I'm just going to check over here for tablets. Oh, see, see. One who touches the mana tree gets the mighty power. Oh, it was pretty close. I, I was pretty close. <laughs> If we didn't find that one, I was pretty close. Anyway, let's go upstairs. Actually, you know what? That was pretty painless. I managed to get through here without using keys. But it's fun. Nice level up. We still have a bit to go. We're almost at max power, chat. There's only... Four more level ups and I hit max power. I would say that's not bad. I'm hoping 91 power is more than enough to destroy this final boss. Given that people, I've seen part of the speedrun the other day where they were like level 30 and did it. I have faith I could beat this boss. Just need some crystals. Hmm. Now here's where we make the choices. This is where I think we can start losing a lot of keys if I'm not careful where I go. So what I'm going to do, 
left looks like progress due to the room itself. Normally I would say left is not progress, but left looks like progress here. I'm gonna go up because I know we need an item at some point. If this does not lead to an item, I'm resetting. Can't carry. Is it an armor? Could be an armor. So let's get rid of... Ice sword, because I don't care about it. And I'll get rid of... I think that might be it. Okay, we found the armor. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. So that is 13 more defense. I think chat would agree. Absolutely worth finding. I would like to take 13 less damage a hit. That is going to make survivability in the dungeon go way up, and the final boss just got way easier. Okay, so, <laughs> so my memory of this place is kind of right, but it's a little loose. Okay, so we didn't go to the left yet. Oh, I can actually damage you with Morningstar. Oh, Morningstar, you're so good. Why even bother with other weapons? Morningstar just bullies everything. Just go power build and you just one shot everything and you can level faster. That is kind of the sad thing. Like if you're trying to get like max HP and you're doing a mix of like willpower plus something else to get like all 99 in stats, you just level so damn slow. Here we go. Here's the other tablet I'm looking for. Genma Knight with the rusty sword will be tested. The true Gemma Knight should be given the legendary sword Excalibur. Alright. So we just went this way for lore, just for clarity. But I believe progress should be at that other door. Speaking of which, that did eat a key. Oh, we're at one key already? Oh, Tom, we gotta we gotta salute the key. I don't think it's gonna make it. I don't think it's gonna make it through another choice. Can you imagine if that door locked you? I would lose my mind. I would actually lose my mind. Right, so we're gonna destroy trash can monster and duck wizard deeds to go. Oof. Goodbye the key. Never mind. Not progress, but it's another stone. King of Vandal got the mighty power of mana. The only one who can stand against is the Gemma Knight with the Excalibur. Okay. So... I'm unfortunately gonna have to burn a key. So I was bamboozled. I forgot about this. So there should be a hidden wall then. Maybe it was... I should have checked this on the way out. Gonna save myself a key, but that's okay. We'll live with our mistake. We'll go this way. Found X Ether. Okay. I mean, I'm not using MP at all, but sure. Hmm, can immediately go back up, but do I think it's worth going somewhere else? I, I think we just go to the end. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh boy, chat, you, re you ready for another ice puzzle? With a partner that randomly shoots lasers. So I think we managed to bypass a lot of the traps of the dungeon, which is good. We will not lose that many keys then. We did use an entire set of keys, which is fine. We might have to use three more, but I think because I did not get lost, I was worried I didn't remember how to get through this dungeon, that I would have been in more trouble. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna ice you thought it hit already. Please don't hit. Oh my gosh, if that hit. So at least the puzzles are very easy because one, they're not as annoying as the previous area, and two, we have a character that literally regens our MP. Also, look at our willpower at the bottom. That's so good. Okay. So just think, every time you can't find where one of the doors is, it basically, you waste two keys. I feel like we're not super far from the end. <laughs> oh, this was the door that got me when I played a long time ago. I didn't have enough keys, and I could not make it to the end. N nice try, though, adventures. I brought more keys this time. 
The, the fear of running out of keys is real. The vandal soon should fall. We leave our last hope in the cave of waterfalls. Glory to vandal and to our child of hope. Cool. Did that use another key, by the way? I think it did. Rip the other key. Goodbye, trash can monster. Honestly, our partner is pretty confident. I'll give them that. They're, they're actually they're just straight up ignoring spikes. They're bullying. Okay, this is very promising, chat. Sorry for saving again. I believe it is boss time. So because we managed to get through that without using that many keys... Uh, all these x ethers and Cures are for the final boss. Could use one crystal on this boss, I guess? I think we have... three bosses between us and the final boss. Ooh, full charge double hit. That's actually huge. Actually, what I want to abuse is the fact that we will eventually lose this partner for story reasons. So I'm going to abuse the fact that I could just ask for MP in the fight, which is so unfair. Say, so if you're a magician, this is like your favorite fight in the game. Oh, I'm going to get tagged again. I almost managed to heal in time. You defeated Garuda. Tower lost its balance. Must hurry out. No, I think you mean must give me MP so I can full heal real quick. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna ask you for it again. Don't mind me at all. There we go, chat. Dramatic run. Uh-oh. The tower's falling. Oh. Oh no! I throw you, and I jump. Can you? Let's do that! Oh, look at that power toss, chat. Now, come on, Marcy! Marcy dot dot dots us, chat. You have to save the world. You are the only hope. What are you talking about? Come on! I am unable to jump. What? I was made to work in here, and I sleep here. Rip Marcy chat. Big F in the chat for Marcy. Marcy! See you sometime, kid. Big F for Marcy chat. Well, we gotta keep going, chat. It's all down to us. There's absolutely no way back. Hey, look, at the, it's the same area from before, except this time, we gotta go up the waterfall. Time to ride the waterfall, chat. So welcome to basically the final dungeon of the game, and then we have a short path to the final boss. So there are ways to get additional elixirs from what I recall. So if we do need more healing, it's not the end of the world. I can get additional items. I believe in this dungeon, one of these enemies will give it to us eventually. Honestly, it might even be the ninjas that give it to us. If we get one additional one, then it's like ultra GG. I'm not worried about the final boss at all. But I think with three crystals, I can do enough damage to cheese uh, the first phase. And then I just gotta survive the second phase, which is what I needed the other elixir for. Okay. Oh, by the way, Chad, just, just so that you're aware, we still need keys. <laughs> just in case you thought, you know, like, oh, you only use like seven or eight keys. No, no, no. <laughs> We have to keep going with however many keys we have, so if I make a mistake, we can still end up losing quite a lot of keys. Just checking for hidden areas. Okay. Hello, ninja. 
Oh, you do have elixir. Oh, GG. GG, it's GG, chat. I got all I needed to beat the final boss now. We're good. Goodbye, Duck Wizard. Hmm. Optional. See, I feel like that door is required, so I'm going to check in a moment. Ooh, two choices of doors. Nice level up, though. So there we go, chat. Our level. 93 power. We get one extra defense point. So we're basically max damage. And our willpower gain is pretty insane. So let's see what's behind this door, if it's even worth unlocking. I'm assuming it's locked. Oh, it's not locked. Oh, there's just a... Okay, it's a warp. But why, though? <laughs> right, right, chat? But, but why? <laughs> why was that a, Why was that a room? Did I miss something? There's no enemies. It's like, gotcha! Let me guess, this door's locked. What a, what, a, what a little practical joke they play. Of course, this door is locked. What a little practical joke that they played, chat. Could I get a third elixir? <laughs> the greed. I don't need it, need it, but it would be funny. It would help me with, like, one of the sub-bosses. But it feels like we're basically done. So, unless I really grind on one of the last enemies... I think this is just about how much XP we're going to have. So keep in mind, we are not done. We're, we have to get through the temple. Okay. Ooh, you're immune. Uh... <sighs> Does Flame Whip work? Does. Okay. Okay, at least we could whip the fire, because that makes sense. The downside is its head is really small. That seems to be the only part I can hit. You see how, like, finicky it is? Like, I have to literally only hit the head. I can't even hit through the body to hit it. So that is far more annoying than it looks, chat. <laughs> it is very annoying, let me tell you. Look at that. I... Okay, oh, yeah, you know what? Does Thunder Sphere do some damage here? Okay, this might be better. Just because I'm less likely to hit other components. I'm only taking damage because this fight is annoying. It's like not hard, it's just more... Its hitbox is very small, which is annoying. Anyway, let's save. Go back to Morningstar, because Morningstar OP when you level up your power. As I said before, we might get one more level between here and the end of the game, but I'm not expecting much. Now, the only question I'm asking myself is, is there another snowman puzzle? I mean, we have another elixir to get another chance at it. Oh, the enemy was like right in the doorway. That sucked. It didn't use a key. There's a warp. We are pretty tanky, I think, due to the armor we picked up earlier, which again was optional. I'm glad we did find it. Can't carry. What do you have, is the question. But a single-use key. I could discard single-use key. Just to pick this up to see what they drop. Unicorn, I think, cures all status ailments, so I don't think I want this. That's good to know that's what they have. I mean, we're definitely going to kill the ninja whenever we see them.
any potential additional elixirs is kind of sick. Ooh, lots of warps. Hmm. Oh, they dropped an item. I didn't react fast enough. Oh no, am I going in circles? Let's check the map. Ooh, we're going in circles. Oh boy, chat, teleport maze. We're almost home free, and if I get lost, it's fine. We didn't use any keys other than the one I threw away. Exether? Actually, that's perfect. Because I can heal, get that little bit of extra XP, and then immediately Exether, in case we have a snowman puzzle somewhere in this horrible dungeon. I'm just kidding, it's not that bad. We, we've been in worse dungeons. The question is more, where do we have to go? We didn't go in this door at all yet, so let's save and continue. You had an elixir, that would have been sick. Game, please. Okay. So all these are still connected. Interesting. That does make navigating them kind of interesting. Imagine. Whoa, they're just straight teleporting. Imagine trying to keep track of where all these teleports took you between the different floors. It'd be a little silly. Uh-oh, locked room. Well, we wasted one key, but that's fine. All that to go here. Oh, elixir. Elixir's huge. Let's take it, actually, just as is. So now I have extra safety factor versus the next boss. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Especially since we can level and heal ourselves at any point. Okay. I'm trying to determine if we're actually making progress. I think we are. Okay, so now we're in this portion of the map. <sighs> Feels like I could break this. I can. Let's go this way then. Oh, Ninja, are you gonna give me another elixir? That would be so sick. You know you want to. <sighs> he did. What what a what a great what a great enemy chat. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we did not need to farm those at all. I'm glad I didn't now. <clears throat> I remember they were somewhere, but I did not get this many while I was playing for sure. Hmm. There's a doorway here and another warp. Oh my gosh, where is the exit? Okay. I just want to make sure we're not going somewhere we've already been, right? Okay, so we are going to yet another new area. So close, chat. So I think after we fight the next boss... I didn't think we were that close to the leveling. I was gonna say I was gonna kill something to heal myself. That is actually really unfortunate. I did not want to level there. I wanted to time that for after this upcoming boss. Super unfortunate. Oh well. What is this? Oh, is this a aim the icicle challenge? This is gonna be interesting. Sure. Well, fortunately, at least it's easy to get elixirs in this dungeon. So I will say... For all the other things I don't have a lot of happy feelings towards, I'm okay with the puzzles so far in this place. Like, that was one million times easier than trying to get two enemies to line up on a single area for two switches. It was just absolutely not happening. <sighs> Being able to one-shot those also saves so much time. Alright, so I think we're at yet another boss. Uh, if I recall correctly, they really hate the player, so I'm just gonna preemptively grab this. Like, I promise you, it's a different boss, but it's not. Yeah, it's 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 the stupid dragon again. I, I don't know why there's two. I'll be real with you. Head. Oh, come on. Missed his head by a little bit. Okay, where's he going? Not that. Come over here. 
At some point, I'm just gonna damage tank it, just to try to kill it. It hit me and it threw it backwards. That's so... that is so rude. That is so rude. I'm almost at the point where I'm just gonna jab it, regardless of where it is, just to try to kill it. How oh, was that not a headshot? I was gonna say, it felt like it was pretty close. Now, we defeated Dragon, and I believe the other one was Red Dragon that we just defeated. I accidentally took a screen capture. But there we go. We get to remember this forever. So, Chan, I have some bad news. I lied about how many bosses there were, because there's I think there's another dragon. <laughs> just... I'm just... Just brace for it. I promise you, I'm so sorry. I don't know why there's so many dragons at the end of the game, but that's fine. It's gonna deal with it. We got the dragon sword, which I'll never use because it's a sword. Why would I bother? Useless weapon. So we just want something with like a little bit more range than sword, so spear will do. Whip seems to glitch out on their hitboxes, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Okay. Uh, let's see. Nothing there, let's go left first. I'll call you Hopper, goodbye Hopper. I was gonna say, if that's another elixir, that would be a miracle. <laughs> you got me! You got me, Final Fantasy Adventure! That was cute. This is like, this is the room you want to be in, but you can't get in there. That was cute. That's cute. At least we didn't use a key. I'll give him that. You know what? I'll take that kind of trolling. I'll take that kind of trolling. Just don't make me actually use keys, and we're, we're good. I, I can laugh along with it. It was They got me. It was a little, it was a little funny. Imagine wasting your time in magic killing these stupid floating heads. Like, why would you bother? Thank you, Imperimeter, for the good luck. We are literally on the, I think, second to last boss of the game. Another elixir? <laughs> Double elixir? Oh, chat. Goodbye, X-Cure. We don't need you. Let's use one of these immediately. Let's take this. Oh, we are so overprepared for the final boss now. Now I feel bad. I feel bad, Chad. We've been getting really good item luck. Hmm. I mean, geez. I have, like, equivalent of several thousand HP to fight this boss now. How many elixirs is that? Is that four? One, two, three, four. We still have a million keys, just in case. Because I, I can afford to get rid of keys. I cannot afford to not have keys. So just in case they do a little teehee joke on us in one of these, like, one of these plot doors is progress related. Like, do you even want to guess what enemy drops a key in this dungeon? I sure as heck don't. It could be the floating heads which require MP to kill. Like, could you imagine if those dropped keys and you need to fight ninjas to get elixir to kill the heads, which only may or may not give you what you need? Like, no thank you, chat. No thank you. I'm not getting in that position again. Absolutely not. So I think overall we've used about eight keys. So just two would have been barely enough to get to this point. We we threw one key away, so I think we might have technically used nine. Our shield is so good at blocking the shuriken. I'm seeing which one's real, if any of them. Ooh. All right, so I think one of these, one of these is the switch that I need to freeze them on. I can tell, just so chat is aware, the, in case it's not obvious on the stream, the, uh, the character will pause briefly if there's a switch that could be activated. And there was kind of like a pause right below the door. Of course, there's two of them for no reason. I like that I got yet another elixir. That is so sick, chat. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, x Ether. Actually, you know what I could do? The smart thing to do would be to use Cure Magic. 
And then, because we have an X-Ether we're gonna get rid of anyway, we take it, and then we take the Elixir. There you go, chat. Big brain. And now we're healed. <laughs> we have more health than we did before and max MP. But more importantly, plus an Elixir. Alright, so one of those on the left side is what we need. So I just need to freeze you at some point. So we'll find out which one is it. So it was that one. Actually, let me save in the next room so I don't have to do the puzzle again. So we're doing really extremely well with healing items. So I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good, Chad. Feeling pretty good. I mean, if these are some of the toughest enemies in the game and we're two-shotting them, that should give you an idea of how powerful we are. Oh, that's right. I could just check the status screen for levels. I don't know why I didn't think of checking that until just now. So I could get one more level up, which I would like to do after we kill this boss so I could be back at full health. And then our final level up will take power, because why not? Um, I'm going to cure preemptively here. And let's fight this thing. Let's do another safety save. Well, that did big damage. Ooh, it bought me. I did not want to get bopped. Yeah, see, being able to double hit there is so good. With how high our strength is, this boss should be dead soon. I'm gonna take a safety cure here, I think. <sighs> Seen a little more damage. We're so close. So please don't make me burn another healing item. Please die. Uh, I'm gonna have to take another safety heal. I don't want to risk it. Buy one of our elixirs. I knew we were close, but if that boss exploded and killed me, it would have been very salty. I'll take I'll take the safe route, chat. We still have three elixirs, we're fine. So we are now officially on the path to the final boss. Whatever we fight here, these weird elephant things. Granted, not what I'm looking for. One of them can grant me the shield that I'm looking for. It's random. No. I don't know why there's elephants. It's a great question. I'm literally just gonna go back and try to fight them. So what we're gonna do... We're gonna save here. And then I'm gonna quickly reset so we can level. Because we're literally right before the final boss. By like a screen, maybe. This will be our last chance to get the shield. If I don't get the shield, it's fine. More importantly, I just wanted these levels. So we almost ended at max power, by the way. So we take one less damage, I got like another 20 or so health. Um, yeah, I think we'll be fine. But it also makes our elixir slightly better. So it does not look like we're going to get the shield, unfortunately. Well, I tried chat, we're at 51. We got a little over leveled because I leveled one time before I wanted to. But uh, I guess wish me luck. Let's try to beat the boss. So we have a save point before I got to the point of no return, in case there's something I want to show off. You have been a great knight of Genma, I see. If you're wondering, chat, if you came here without the rusty sword, she just straight up gives you the Excalibur at this point. So that's how the speedrunners are able to actually win. I shall give you the Excalibur. Now defeat Julius. Received Excalibur. Alright, chat, this is what we're going to use for the final fight. We got Excalibur. So yeah, that <laughs> she just had it the whole time, <laughs> according to the game logic. But technically, she upgraded the sword we had. Ha. 
Are they like near immune to Excalibur? What? We're at like 95 or 97 power out of 99. We don't one shot with the strongest weapon in the game. Jeez. Anyway. I think that was the final enemy of the game. I don't recall there being too much else. I mean, I guess I could kill this guy just because, but it's really not needed. So you're going to see what our strategy is, and that's going to be abusing that attack that you saw there. You missed Rusty. He was a good sword. Okay, final save, and I believe it's now boss time. Donna! Donna, dot, 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 You're late, Blue. I already got the greatest power of mana. The time has come for the Empire Neo-Vandal. Really? That's that's what you came up with, Vandal fell? Really? Now that I have the mighty power, I do not need you anymore, Blue. Alright, so here's... I did not do that correctly. So here's what we're gonna do. I need some crystals. How... Did he hit me right as I went to use it so it flipped me? That is so rude. That is so rude that that just happened. I must have been clipped by like a fraction of a second. Okay, so we killed one. Well, that's a really good sign. So here's what the crystals were being used for, chat. It's specifically to cheese this phase. Ah, uh, It's over. We have one for the next phase. Oh, that was so powerful. Defeated Julius, chat. See, it's easy. Oh, they were just mid-flight. See the true power of mana now! Anyway. I did not wait for the pool charge. That was my fault. Ooh, the triple hit was sick. I'm getting tagged a lot more than I would like. And that's why we have safety elixirs. Should be pretty close to dead. If I need to, I could spam cure just to survive a little longer. Oh, I didn't get the double hit there. That was a waste. Got him though. All right, chat. We're home free. We got we got through the hard part. So that's why I wanted the elixir. Chat was curious, but fortunately, we're so powerful that even Julius Iscar cannot defeat us. We're not done, though, chat. Blue, are you okay, Donna? I defeated Julius. It's all over. No, it is not. Blue, you will never leave here alive. Uh, do you mind healing us? Uh, we just we gotta just patiently charge up and ask her to cure us repeatedly and we should be good oh he does an insane amount of damage um I'm gonna use this safety elixir we got two I don't think his teleporting is random but I don't know what the pattern is so take it take that as you will so if you were to refight this you could learn all of his teleport patterns Please keep healing me. <laughs> Fortunately, we have a decent amount of HP because we've been always leveling stamina. Like, in, well, not literally stamina, but we've been getting stamina every level. It's a more accurate statement. So if we had like 100 HP, we would just be done. Like, I don't think there's anything you could do. I think you just get one shot and die. Oh, he talked to the hand me for like half my health. So yeah, if I had 160 health chat, I would have died just then, by the way. 
So you need to make sure we're constantly healing. So it's like, I could still die in theory. We managed to get some early health, which is helpful. No, that's not what I meant. I mean, I could quick save. Sure. Let's continue the game, though. That way we can relive the glory moment forever, chat. Oh, try predicting where you'd be. There we go. Got him, chat. GG. Game's over. Also, I don't know why he gives you gold. You can't do anything with it. The mana tree disappeared. Oh. What am I supposed to do? Donna, my dear. Mom? Mother says, Now that the mana tree is lost, we need a new Gemma of the mana tree. New tree? Remember what I told you. We are the seeds of the mana tree. We will be a bud called Gemma, and we become a tree. There you go, chat. And the Gemma Knights fight to guard it. I became the Gemma last time we lost the tree. That tree? Was it you? Yes, Donna. But you are the last member of us Mana family. To preserve the Mana tree, we need you to stay here and become the Genma. But, Donna, nobody else can decide for your life but you. We just slice her. <laughs> We're like, screw the mana tree, right, chat? I will, Mom. I will be the new tree of mana. But if I am the last one left, when I fall, yes, that will be the end of the peace. Is it really peaceful? If we got murdered by everything. Bye, Blue. Please go. I must stay here. Don't worry. I will be here as long as... You guard me from the evil. Well, I got bad news for you. Uh, trees outlive people. Blue, please guard my daughter. You are the only Gemma Knight for the tree now. We just get more knights. I will be withering soon. Please tell my Gemma Knights that I said goodbye and thanks to them. Wait, she just told us we're the only Gemma Knight and then she said say goodbye to the other ones. I'm getting conflicting messages there. Goodbye. Donna! Blue! Oh, there you go. Move the mother over. Her time her time has passed, chat. Goodbye. Donna. Good bye. Goodbye. Donna. Gemma, the guardian of the peaceful land. Is it though? I feel like they've always been at war. Whatever. The new Gemma must not be lost ever after. Yeah, big oops on that one, chat. We all must keep it forever. Uh. And you, Blue, are the only Gemma Knight now. I 
I, I guess she just fired Bogard? Question mark? Sucks to be Bogard. Translation chat. We've hit the credits. Dr. Bow Wow was uh, chat's favorite character. Just by name. Just purely by name. <laughs> what a character. I think there's characters that kind of look like him in Secret Amana. I think the Cannoneers look like him. The doors make an appearance in several of the games. Kenji Ido, composer. Good job, Kenji Ido. I do like the soundtrack, even though it's short. Also, the door of mind system sucks, chat. <laughs> Just like to call it out. Graphics. Kazuko Shibuya. Shibuya? Shibuya. See, so once the credits are done, we will give a very short review of the game. I fortunately did not get lost. I thought I was going to get horribly lost in the tower. But the fear of soft locking made us go almost straight to the end. Like, think about how many different doors I didn't take in the tower. We saved so many keys, chat. It's unreal. <laughs> but the fear was there, chat. Listen, you soft lock essentially once where you need RNG key to proceed. You're like, never again. But I think I probably could have gotten away with just four sets of keys. And to be fair, I did not expect to get that many elixirs. We got very lucky with the drops throughout. We sadly did not get the best shield in the game, though. Or the best helmet. I don't know where the best helmet was. Uh-oh. Chocobo love chat. There we go. You must be with your kind now, Robo Chocobo. Or they should have called him Robo Bobo Bo. That also would have worked. Square chat. Not Square Enix, just Square. The end. Gleam. So there we go. Our job was to protect the tree, protect her, save the pendant. We failed all three. Round of applause, chat. <laughs> We we lost the girl in the end. We we did super poorly. <laughs> we sure messed that mission up. Oops. So anyway, I believe it is done. There should be nothing after this. So let's give just a quick summary of how we think things went. Let's go on a bit more easier to read screen for the chat. So overall, the session, I'm really happy, as I said before. I got a little lost in the temple. But I, I managed to navigate the many traps of the tower, and I'm happy we only ended up using about eight keys instead of like 16 or something like that by backtracking. I think the I think needing to hit the hidden wall to advance is definitely where I lost some keys when I initially played. So like I knew at some point I 100% needed to hit a hidden wall, but I did forget which room it was. That was the only time I really lost a key from backtracking. Um... But other than that, yeah, I mean, we were we were very overpowered <laughs> because I went power all the way through. It did not bother with magic. Uh, I did get punished for not getting magic for the lava dungeon. The lava dungeon is one of my least favorite dungeons of the game by far. No, no contest. I hate the mandatory damage that you have to take. I don't remember there being anything to get through it. It isn't like other games where normally like, oh, you need something to walk through lava or whatever. There's like an item that gets through. No, I don't, I don't think that exists in this game. You straight up just got to tank it. And unfortunately, that it ends up consuming a lot of healing items if you're doing what I'm doing. So that ends up being the worst dungeon in the game. Um, I fought the Lich. I used Nuke literally once. So good, good job, game. You made me use the spell, which I can't say about all the spells in our inventory. I feel like I never use lightning from our inventory. I use sleep as an item, but I don't think I use sleep as a spell. And technically I use thunder as an item, but also not from our spell. The only ones I really use were heal and cure, because to be honest with you, unless we needed to do snowman puzzles, why bother with the other spells? They're not worth it. 
So overall, happy for the most part. Had like a couple dumb deaths. A couple were like I damage boosted through. I felt like I had a good recovery. I like getting through that lava room without taking a single point of lava damage. That that was my favorite moment of today's session. Showing that by reversing what direction you're facing and walking into something, you could go backwards to set distance. I felt like that was somewhat skillful to get through that without taking a million points of damage. Uh, we got the Zeus Axe. Basically useless. I think I used it like three times. Like literally like maybe three or four swings. And that was it. And then I was like, wow, this axe sucks. And then we basically never use it again. So basically the moral of the story is get, get whip, get flail, and then only use spear on dragon. And then you don't need to bother with any other weapons if you've been going all power. Like, could you imagine two needing to spam like let, let let's say I mean nuke was three I th what was it three MP I think a cast so imagine if you have like eighty MP and you have to constantly like restock MP over and over and over and over and over or you could just swing your weapon twice and kill something do you know what I mean so like for me the playstyle made sense for me to just stick to power and I don't regret it outside of the flame cavern being horrible. Like, one more point in willpower would have made the snow puzzle slightly more forgiving, but it wouldn't have ultimately really helped me with healing that much. Most of the time, it's just I had enough healing on us because this is how we came in. But anyway, uh, I think that's it for final thoughts of the particular session, but we still have to give our final thoughts on the game itself. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube for this part. So if you did watch it, did like watching to this point in the the playthrough where the video slash the VOD. Um, we'll be continuing with Secret of Mana literally uh, next. So no delays <laughs> expected in just a couple days if you're going to get on YouTube or even on Twitch, honestly, just a couple days. So with that, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye for now. So thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the final review.